Yeah, yeah, Ottawa audio. Audio, welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, <laughs> your best source for the newest Atari games. And tonight we're going to be playing some Atari 2600 nice. games. Thank you, everybody. We are looking at the chat, luckily, yeah. right at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. RC70 did alert us properly. Thank yes, you. thank you, RC70. New for 2024, audio. <laughs> yep, we've graduated from just video yep. now to including just, audio. Just black and white silent films. Yep. To you know, scratchy. Yeah. Jittery old films, but uh, <laughs> yeah, we had to, you know, title cards to say That's help right. us say, yeah. express ourselves. But uh, now we've upgraded to 2024. <laughs> uh, we have three games tonight, one of which is an exclusive world premiere: Escape from Mars Ooh. by Leandro Camera. Nice. Uh, we also have Cave Raider by Atarius Maximus, and I believe he is in the chat tonight. Nice, 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 nice. And also Covey Covey yeah, by nice. uh, Mark Yohannes. I think he's in the chat as well. And I believe I, I played that. I have played yes, that before. Yes, we have played that Excellent. before. Excellent. I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, but before we get Good to that, uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers scrolling beside Tanya. Just down here. Right in the corner. 8-Bit Pod, Alnifer, uh, Andre Atari, Armscar Coder, Atari 800 <laughs> XL Rules, Atari 74, Atari Beef Supreme, Boat, BR Poker, Bo Bruno Stacks, Cap Man 2D, Charles Donnie, Dan Mao, Mao, uh, Charles Blue, Chitlila, Crazy Curtis, Sierra Noribo, Dianoid, Dan FC, Dr. Mukaz, Gamma Dev, Great Offender, Grand Trooper, Herlder, Jure, uh, Johnny WC, Carl G, Croco, Kvaltifer, Lambda Express, Lord Kraken, Mark Johannes, Mark Space Inc., Metalatari, Mick Muse, Mike Sol, Mike Latow, Miss Command, MK Swift, Mother 3, Mr. Zarnwu, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Neo Mini, Nostalgia, Koog, Raymond C, R70, Randy Ghost, Friendless VG, Revento, Lucardo, Pim, Roddy Cast, Swiss, Mitty B, Spice Wars, Spinley, S. Ramirez, TK, Dan K, TFO, TM Events, Vexor X, Finch's Gaming Memories, VVD Double Down, and X Ken X. And before the show, Mark Johannes did resubscribe. Yay! He is here. And also the D Train Yay! Uh, resubscribed Thank you, the as well. You keep the oh, cats oh. fed in treats. Yes. Oh, they appreciate it <laughs> a lot. An episode as a silent film would be so fun. Yes. Mm, 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 I'm not sure. Yes. Thank uh, you. I like this shirt too. Oh, it's Ultimate. so good. I, I bought it two years ago yep. at, at PRG. Hi. <laughs> um, and uh, they didn't have it this year. They didn't year. have it this, this past year. It's so awesome. And people were looking for it. Yeah. So, ooh. yeah, I got it hopefully when, when be, they had it. So hopefully, hopefully they'll be back, back. 2024. Never know. We'll and see. it's it's Friday, everyone! Yay! Happy Friday. Happy Friday! It's the weekend. Time to play some games. I'm having my appropriately themed beer. Oh, what Left is it? Leftover from our retro game night. Maybe which you is take the... it up to the camera a little see. bit, not too close. Yeah, that's pretty good. I big, mean, it's blurry. Big but... Mario. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, big Mario. Back, Down. Back. There big go. Mario. Press yeah. start IPA. Now is that properly go. licensed? Does it say proper uh, property of Nintendo? Oh gosh. Gosh. You know what? As long as it doesn't have Mario it on it. It just says Big Mario and it has some, you know, sort of vaguely no 80s, 90s themed lines Mario's on it. Mario's a real so. name. It is It is it a has, beer. It, it is an it's IPA. It's just a person's name. Yes. Uh, IPA. It is Friday. Marquianas asks if it's an energy drink. Not an energy not. drink. IPA. And not not the IPA people refer to when they mean <laughs> isopropanol. Yeah. Uh, it's not, it's, I don't think she'd be happy. Not that I, IPA. <laughs> or I wouldn't be happy either if I cleaned motherboards with this. That's true. I know. Yeah. I don't be think a waste. the motherboard yeah. would be. Mario Lopez is going to sue. Mm -hmm. That's right. We do have a poll tonight and it is related to a game we're going to be playing. Very bitter. Um, are cheat mode slash trainers mm. for games a negative, a positive, or neither? Um, this comes up um, mm. because we are going to be playing Cave Raider, a special version that's not okay. posted. Okay. That does have a trainer in it that we won't use in right away. We're going to play a trainer. So. That's an old school term for a game that has, you know, a, options. A mode. A mode like a for mode. extra lives. Not a level, not a tutorial no, level. No, no, no. That's not what you're referring to. You're you're yeah. talking about an this actual is... mode of playing the yeah. game that's easier. It's game terminology. Yeah, um, yeah it makes it easier, gives you extra lives, invincibility, extra weapons, gotcha. whatever. Cheats, yeah. yeah, okay. Cheats. Cheats. Call Teddy it what bear you want. mode, Nutella mode, which I really like. Yeah. So, yeah. Cave Raider, we're going to be playing a version. Yeah. That has an option for it. Okay. And it's going to be some debate, and we'll talk about that later. Okay. But it was actually um, uh, amazing timing because I was going to talk about this anyway on the okay. show uh, because there was a 
post this week, and I'm going to show it to you in the forums. Oh, that's a bit small, so let's increase that size a bit. Okay, so um, there's a thread for Atari 8-bit games, mm -hmm. um, and CRC Atari does this a lot for some eight Atari 8-bit games that are potentially hard, and he makes uh, trainers for these games. And this one, Dude Story EN, uh, and the game is Dude Story. We'll be playing it uh, on the next 8-bit show. Um, it says, no offense, MQ, your game is great, but not everybody has the skill or patience to play. Mm. Um, and there's a trainer for it. I think it gives infinite lives or something. And then the developer mm. posted uh, shortly after, <laughs> you didn't give people time to try and play through the game mm. normally. The number of apples is related to the plot, and in some places the game will not make sense with such a trainer. You also didn't give time to share the proprietary cheat codes hidden in the game. Mm. Um, CRC Atari said, okay, maybe I was a bit rushed. Sorry, MQ, I'll wait a bit next time. It's okay. Th thanks. Uh, okay, thanks. No problem. The trainer already exists now. Mm. Uh, so now we must live with it. So we must live with it. By the way, you do the work with this trainers. Thanks for every other one mm. of them. Mm. Um, and and these have existed forever. I remember on the Commodore 64 having um, trainer versions. Uh, now, it would give you an option when you load it up. Yes, in un unlimited lives. Yes, all the weapons. Yes, whatever. Mm. Yes, no. Um, this is in reference to a dude story for the Atari 8-bit. Um, I, I am d neutral on them. I don't think they're good or bad because I don't use them unless... I want to use them. And this came up uh, once again, once before, and it's okay. the only only time I deleted a video okay. from our from from YouTube of, okay. from Zero Page was I played Circus Convoy very far into the game. Okay. Um and people freaked out. They didn't want to see that far ahead. They didn't want to see but somehow somebody was forcing them to watch it. Just like this, well, somebody is forcing people to, to download uh, this and run that version? It's That's funny. That's my argument. It's like, who, 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 But there's it a funny psychology, too, to people where they will watch it and then realize afterwards they shouldn't have and then they won't play the game. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I, I know. And there are a lot of people who watch gameplay on, on Twitch. I can't help but watch no, but, it. But there's a lot of people who will watch <laughs> gameplay on Twitch yeah. and never buy and the game and play, play it. Yeah. And so I, I get there's a kind of weird psychology sometimes to these things and it being available yeah. and watching someone play it. Personally, what I love about winning a game is actually winning it. Yeah, it's your I don't, skills. You feel I, accomplishment, right? I, I I don't like I don't like the trainers unless I'm just learning as a tutorial like how to play it. Yeah. And then once I know how to play it, I want to play it on at least the regular mode. Like often games do have levels, right? So they yep. have an easy and a regular and a hard. Yep. And that's fine. Yep. It, it sort of depends if it's built into the, it's, if it's like baked into the game that there's an easy level yeah. versus someone coming up with some cheat codes or some tricks or I, I, I've always felt that way. I don't know why, but I've always felt like I don't want to cheat. And if no, I do, I, I feel either. guilty about cheating. I feel like I... I well, I, I just don't feel that I played the game I properly. feel like I shortchanged myself yeah. sometimes. And you so do. You didn't experience I know not everyone game. feels that way, and I'm not trying to make people feel bad about feeling that way, but I do feel that way. <laughs> I'm a dove. Yeah. How dare you give me yeah. options? Don't you know I have no, <laughs> no. self-control? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> That's what it boils down it, to. It's kind of true, but there is a weird psychology to it. If, so. if anything, I think they're yeah. positive because... Say I can't get to a certain part in the game, but yeah. I, but I want to see it. It's like well, either I never ever ever see it. Yeah. I never say the ending well, of the game. I could actually like let's say before YouTube existed. Yeah. And that's it. That's you have only only one option. You never see the end of the game. And what's the difference between just the developer developing? an easy mode so you can play on easy mode before you try the harder levels versus them not developing that and someone else coming in and coming with cheat codes <laughs> to help you get through it yeah. and learn it and i don't know I, I i am neutral i think it depends a lot on context around it too it it does but but i was I, one of I those kids a... that when i heard people were 
putting in codes and finding cheats in magazines right. in the 80s and 90s, I was right. like, well, you're a failure. You you cheated at the game. Like I had that <clears throat> attitude when I was a kid. Like uh, my 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 my, <laughs> my respect for that person dropped if I found out that they got like hints. <laughs> and and I don't know where that came from. Probably a little bit of a competitive <laughs> sensibility. Yeah. But I did have that a little bit of that attitude. Not so much now, but I did then. A lot of them are baked into the game, like from they the developers. They are baked into the game. Like yeah. not even easy, medium, hard. Mode. No. Like up, down, up, down, left, right. Left, right, B, A, B, A, you know, that Contra code. Um, so I don't know. It, I think it obviously depends on the person and it their does. attitude. I see um, RPGs popping up too. And RPGs, sometimes you get stuck. I mean, some games you get stuck. Is it wrong to look up a. Yeah, I get stuck on games. And I would rather. And that's how my attitude on it has changed. Get is the like, hint for that part. And, and keep get past going. It. I know. Otherwise, so... you're stuck forever and you turn off the game and then you'll never experience the rest of the game. Yeah. Um... I, I, I just... So my attitude <laughs> has changed, but I was... I did... Have Nobody stronger, thinks it's negative. <laughs> yeah, I did have stronger opinions on it right. in my early gaming days when I was younger, for sure. So, yeah. I don't know what that code's for. <laughs> <laughs> the cheat code. <laughs> That's a general cheat code. Yeah. Um, I use uh, Ivory Tower Collections. I used a cheat to bulk up my character so I could fly back through to the point I was to continue the game and finish without all the mm -hmm. grinding again. There are legitimate uses for cheats that make the game more enjoyable yes. or even playable. Like some games are really hard. Oh, incredibly it's hard. It's like I die immediately in this yeah. game. I can't make it past level one. I need more lives, you yeah. know, whatever it is. Yeah. Or save states. Modern modern games give you save states as well. Yep. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, we'll be discussing that a little bit later mm -hmm. uh, with uh, one of the games we have. So, on to the news. Um, the first Jaguar music cart was released called There Is Hope by Dennis Karamani, uh, also known as Remute. And uh, Ivory Tower Collections uh, gave me the heads up on this. Remute, There Is Hope, Hatari Jaguar music album. Uh, within only five years, Remute, Remute became the trailblazer for game cartridge-based music albums delivering releases for consoles. Let's just make that a little bit bigger. Like Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Sega Genesis, Nintendo 64, and many more. In 2024, he's, he has increased... I love when people talk about themselves in the third person. <laughs> it's so funny. You know he wrote this himself. Yeah. Um, uh, he's increased in the niche force even further and surprises us with the very first music album for the Atari's ill-fated but immensely powerful Jaguar, the first 64-bit game console ever released back in 1993. Uh, so it's on an actual, actual cartridge. Uh, you can see it right there. He is selling this. Um, I don't know if this... Someone audio... asked, I think, for a link. A link? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I usually post them afterwards, but it's good to post them right now. There you go. Uh, so we'll take a listen to this. <laughs> Let's turn it down a little bit. So... This is music that you can hear if you put the cartridge in the Jaguar and it's playing through the Jaguar itself. Uh, 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 kind of up my alley, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and he is... Uh, mm -hmm. I think there's some videos of him actually playing it on a Jaguar as well. It's been posted mm. in Jaguar Facebook groups. And he's, he's let uh, listen to uh, two of the tracks. I'm not sure if they're two full tracks, but it gives you enough sampler. So this is a full album on a cartridge. 12 tracks on a cartridge. Okay. Be able to play on a Jaguar, and you can get visuals and the audio oh. from the Jaguar is this, itself. Is, are there many other albums like this? Because this Quite is really... Quite a few. But it, this is there? the first Jaguar one. Okay. And obviously I'm showing it because well, we do Atari stuff, right? Yeah, they do mention like cartridge-based cartridge -based music albums for Super Nintendo and different ones. Well, this person does more than oh, just I Jaguar. See. Yeah, okay. So you can see here there's nice. um, MS-DOS, uh, I want all my... I, like, screw streaming. I want all my <laughs> albums on cartridges from <laughs> now on. Right. Sega Dreamcast, <laughs> Game Boy Advance. That's awesome. Obviously this person uh, likes to challenge themselves yeah. on multiple platforms. 
PC wow. Engine, uh, Game Boy, PC Engine, uh, uh, Super Nintendo. Wow. Um, yeah, so quite prolific. I think our Sega next Genesis. retro gaming night, we just need to have a Jaguar set up just for playing music. There you go. That's perfect. <laughs> so it says That's uh, amazing. region free six megabyte cartridge. Um, I don't know if they're releasing it on any other format. I mean, it says pre-record, a pre-order record vinyl, but I, I think that's just the default mm. of what it is because um, it says Jaguar cartridge there. Um, so very, very, very cool. No Apple to uh, right. the end. PC speaker version. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> One tone at a time. No, there, there's actual, there were um, um, drivers. I remember back in the day that okay. would emulate a, a sound blaster through the PC speaker. Okay. So if the game supported Sound Blaster, you could load a driver into memory. Okay. And it would think it had a Sound Blaster, but then it would play it through your PC speaker and it would sound like garbage because it would be this tiny, tiny little speaker. But you would get the music from the Sound Blaster, which would be a much more advanced cart uh, more like advanced sound card. Sounds? Yeah. yeah. That also sounds really cool. And it killed the speaker, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, the next piece of it news. does sound like a new genre of music. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Wow. Um, in television games, removed due to piracy. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. So, right here, changes to ROM sales at Intelli at IntellivisionCollector.com oh, in 2024. No. Um, so they're saying oh, for one week left for non-intelligent collector game ROM sales on intellivisioncollector.com. At midnight, December 31st, tw I mean, this is old news. I just found out about this. Yeah. So they're gone. Uh, oh, at midnight, no. December 31st, 2023, non-intellivision uh, non collector ROMs will be pulled from the site. Blah, 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 blah. All of these and all previously posted ones will disappear next week. Get them while you can. So these are the um, games that are being pulled in binary format. Or have been pulled. Uh, by Brian Puddin, who's a, yeah. a fellow YouTuber. Uh, Carl Mueller Jr., Carlos Madruga, who we met at PRGE 2024. Thank you for following LYI Salamos. Uh, glad you're enjoying it. Uh, Carlos Madruga, um, they had a um, booth set up mm -hmm. at uh, PRGE. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, they weren't at their booth. <laughs> When we went around and did uh, the live but broadcast. But we did, we did see the booth. We did yeah, show I the do, booth. I, I yeah. do remember seeing the, their booth. And yeah. all Electronite um, oh. games pulled. And all Homebrew Inc. pulled. Matthew Keel and Michael Hayes. So all those in Televania, which I have up there. Mm. Very, very good game. Um, so they're all gone now. And let me show you the Facebook post that actually gives a little bit more information here. Let me just close that. Get out of here okay there uh this is posted by william moeller uh all future electronite games i'm guessing they run electronite i'm not super into the intellivision scene yeah uh games will no longer be available in unprotected rom format sorry but organized sharing of games makes it impossible yeah and so what people were doing and it and it goes into it a little bit more in the comments below mm. There were people that were all pitching in whatever, 50 cents, a dollar for a $10 game, 15, $20 game, whatever it is. Yeah. And then all sharing it amongst themselves and also posting it on the internet. Uh, yeah. And they're like, that's it. Yeah. B people are not buying our games anymore. Oh, no. They're just sharing it. Yeah. Um, there's an option with Intellivision. It's called uh, the left turn only cartridge, which I have, where it is... The game is serialized, serial numbered to your cartridge. Okay. Because you have to send them your cartridge number. Yeah, that makes sense. And then it's encoded. Yeah. Um, encrypted. So I'm guessing it's not able to be cracked. I haven't heard of anything, any of them being cracked. But um, so that it works only on that cartridge. You can't, unfortunately, play it in uh, emulators or anything. Mm. Um, but ooh, yeah, LTO cartridge. So they they still available through the LTO, but um, not everybody has an LTO. Not everybody uh, wants to pay to buy an LTO. So this is kind of a loss for the community. And going into ROM sales for Atari now, because Atari Age is going to be offering ROM sales. Yeah. But they were going to be encrypted, right? In some way? No, oh, they really? can't. 
they can't be. Oh, okay. Um, and same with Champ Games. Oh. They offer binary sales as well. Yeah. And a num number of other places, too. Yeah. Is this the fate that's going to happen to Atari binary sales later on? Are people going to be scumbags as well? I mean, it takes only one, unfortunately. Well, that's how it works. Yeah. One person releases it and people go, mm, do I want to pay yeah. whatever? No, I'll just get it for free. Yeah. And it's really, really unfortunate. Yeah. Um, LTO's uh, left turn only. Um, yeah, it's a very cool cartridge. Um, so I thought I'd bring that up because uh, it's a future that... Atari Homebrew is possibly facing once the binaries start selling, but m different communities operate very differently yeah. and have different attitudes towards towards the release of towards yeah. releases towards um, binaries. I've I've never searched for people uh, dumping ROMs for the for the Atari Twenty Six Hundred like Homebrew games, mm -hmm. but I haven't heard anything just in passing either. I'm sure it happens out there. But it definitely doesn't uh, happen on Facebook pages or the Atari Age forums or anything. Um, are the Champ Game ROM, ROMs signed? Not that I know of. They're definitely not locked. Mm. They are just binaries you can play, you can copy. Um, they may have traceable pieces in them. Um, like, I, I know that the ones from... Um, Audacity games mm. do have a signature in them, if I'm remembering correctly, that if you share it online, it will be traced back to you. Like if you share the Circus Convoy ROM, okay, um, sprinkled throughout the ROM is you, it's an identifier. your name, gotcha, identifier that it t that goes back to you. Oh, okay. And for sure, you will be named and shamed and blocked from yeah. any future purpose uh, purchases. Purchases, yeah. And I'm guessing. Maybe that's something that Al might look into for Atari Age, and maybe Champ Games as well. Yeah. I mean, that's tough for a 4K game. Well, but yeah. But for like a huge 128K game like Circus Convoy, it's possible to sprinkle it throughout the code and put it in code that doesn't affect the gameplay. Well, I think there's always a... Oh, there you go. Muddy Vision games are signed in a similar uh, way. Okay. So if any Muddy Vision games get out... We'll you know who know the culprit who is, is, and they will be yes. out of the community. <laughs> you won't be able to buy any games from anyone. And yeah. actually, I think that the community should share these names amongst themselves. Like Muddy Vision and Champ Games and Atari Age yeah. should all have a database yeah. of these people. So They don't accept checks from this person yeah. list yeah, with their face. Yeah. yeah. If that's... <laughs> It's not. It's not positive for the community. It's and not. People well, don't make much money from these games to begin with. I, and I think the bigger the bigger concern is you have distributors and people trying to make cartridges and trying to distribute games. Yeah, for, and it, they're not, as some people say, they're not necessarily in it for the money. Uh, but they're not going to continue doing it if they can't <laughs> at least recoup the costs they I, put into it. I think people won't minimum, do it after a while. At minimum, that's what they want. That's do. what you that you yeah. want to make sure that they're at least you know. It, it's worth their while. It's not a loss on their behalf, yeah. right? So, yeah. and you know, they yeah. get their games on in box and on cartridges. I know yeah. a lot of the people here in the chat that watch this show are developers. Yeah, and they do it for the joy of having yeah. a box out there, a game out there. Yeah, and if all of a sudden piracy happens and there's a lot, maybe there's enough people that download it instead of buy it. Yeah, it's gonna wreck everything yeah. it's gonna wreck everything <laughs> well it's terrible yeah and i think i think in general this community wants to support the developers yeah. so it's sad that this has happened yeah. but i i don't think that's really reflective of most of the people who are trying to support retro gamers and 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 um time to reinstate the code wheel yeah home, no yes. please no <laughs> not homebrew, the code wheels. homebrew developers i think yeah. people generally support them and they're buying their games to also support them yes, yes, and support that yeah. development. So I don't think that's really reflective of the community. Yeah. But. Um, Pseudographics um, says, I don't care if people share games that I participate in unless they do it for yes. profit. Now, yeah. I, I must say, each community is very different. Yes. And as I went into each community... They all have and, different and adult, standards and, 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 and expectations. And the 8-bit community, yeah. probably because it started from a computer side of things, they are very open with their games. Yeah. Like almost every single game, full game is released as a binary. Yeah. 
like for free. Yeah. And the games on cartridge are like are the... a bonus. It's yeah. like, cool, I get this yeah. game on cartridge. And I think that's probably because it comes from the computer side of things. Mm. Um, but from console side, people are very used to getting it on cartridge. It has to be in physical form. <laughs> We're not going to share it. But the 2600 and 7800 and 5200 are very sharing. Like, like they, for the most most of the part, uh, share the full binaries or demo versions of the binaries. Mm -hmm. And some platforms are like, yeah, you get nothing. You buy the cartridge or nothing. <laughs> like, there's no demo. Here's a video of it. That's, that's it. It's really quite interesting. Um, but anyway, I thought I'd mention that because that's... That's a very, very, very interesting uh, development, and I hope mm -hmm. it doesn't uh, um, do that, move forward with that. Um, part of the reason the Champ games use extra hardware in them is to make them harder to pirate and share them, mm -hmm. ITC says. It is very hard to dump ARM games because it's a separate processor. It's got a chip, right? And, it, and it's stored separately. Yeah. And this 2600 doesn't actually see that data. It only sees no. part of the data, and part and the, of it's and stored part of it is actually elsewhere. processed on that chip that's on the card. That's right. I mean, the advantages of cartridges. Are, <laughs> that's right. You can build hardware into them that you can't easily kind of replicate outside of that hardware. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I'm talking like I know what I'm talking about, which I don't. <laughs> no, no, you're, but you got but it right. Having those things. You've learned cannot, by osmosis. I, I <laughs> <laughs> teeny tiny little bits okay. over five years. Yes. So let's. <laughs> uh, the next story is um, John Van Ryzen posted this yesterday. Um, John Van Ryzen's Alien Exterminator oh. is coming on cartridge to Atari Age. Oh, nice. A uh, very cool game, mm -hmm. very hero esque. He's the guy who made Hero mm. back in the day. Mm, that's right. Yep. F for Activision, he made a new game that's currently only on the Atari VCS. Oh, kittens! Um, <laughs> and we played it on the show. Um, and uh, yeah, it says um, it is for sale on the VCS 800 digitally only right now. Atari H says they are going to sell a digital download and cartridge. The box, labels, and manuals have all been created. So it is it is happening. It is actually happening. When? We don't know. Next batch, batch after that, we don't know. Is Atari drunk? Are you drunk? He's been licking my Big Mario oh. IPA. Have you been into the beer? He's been, been into, into, into the IPA, kittens? <laughs> Bad cats. Um, so very looking forward to that. It's a very good game. I don't know uh, how many people here have played it yet because it's only on the VCS. Um, but I bought it on the VCS and, uh, we played it on the show and I made it to level 19 or did I make it to 20 and didn't finish it? 19 or 20. I remember. Level yeah. 20 is the last level and I was that close. Mm -hmm. So I still, we still have to do a, um, after dark and, um, finish it, finish that game. Cause I know I can, I was very, very close. Uh, next story is, uh, this is on a white background. Let's see if I can make that. A little better. <laughs> there, it's blue on a white background yeah. now. Um, the Atar, uh, the A fifty two hundred DS version three point five has been released. Now, what this is is an emulator on the Nintendo DS handheld, and now you uh, this been this on the an, DS. Okay, yep, and this okay. is an updated fifty two hundred emulator. Uh, features supports the original sixty nine commercial releases plus a couple hundred homebrews hacks and prototypes. Mm. All games run at full speed on a DSi or above. Most games will run uh, full speed on the older DS. Uh, light, fat, um, some of the more com complex conversions will lag. Bank switching up to 128 are supported. Games like Frogger and Qbert auto patch, so the button does not need to be pressed to move it's and hop, so it's got a lot of features. Yum, 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 oh, yum, 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 yum. you're very lucky. This is the last story. <laughs> thank you so much, Carl, Carl G. G thank feeding you. the cats. You gotta get something in your belly so you're not so drunk. Yeah. <laughs> um, like so this is by Wave Motion, and they also do a bunch of other emulators for the DS. Um, Atari 5200, Intellivision, uh, Atari 8-bit, uh, Atari 2600, ColecoVision, TI-99, and the Atari 7800 as well. Oh, wow. So if you have an, a DS that you use regularly, you can download these. It has to be... It said DS or Home higher, brood, which so I'm assuming the 2DS and the 3DS would work with it too. 
If they those they are said backwards DS or compatible. Higher. They said so, DS or higher. So yeah. I'm assuming if you can your 2DS load, will work. If you can load this software on, then yes, which I assume you can. I assume. But I haven't looked into it enough. Yeah. But cool. I assume you can do that. So there you go. Yeah, you would need um, either it what Hacked they or... what they call home brewed, which pisses home me off brewed. to no end. <laughs> the way you they use that word. Um, but, um, yeah, it has to be, you have to have an R4 or some car, sort of cartridge that you can run external programs on. I'm starting to get hungry when I hear a bell now. Ultimate yeah. one has been Pavloved. Okay, <laughs> so let's start up the betting. Oh, playing the tunes. Making the cats go crazy. Okay, the betting has started. Yay! Bet on Pick Your Cat. Let's put away these joysticks. Pick a cat, any cat. Pick a cat, any cat. Pick how much you think they'll win by. We've got this cat. It is a black cat. We have a green cat. Called Sprite, yeah. Uh, it's called Sprite. And we have a, a gray cat called Atari. Gray cat called Atari. There, pick him up. That's the Atari cat. <laughs> 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 They're hungry for treats. Now you can bet on either cat and you can bet on how much they'll win by one yes. or two points or three or more points. Yeah. Um, so you can have a look at the horses right yep. here. Um, I'll just pick them up to show yeah. you. <laughs> I'll pet them a bit. Yeah. There you go. They're There's both the pretty meowy. They've got good coats. <laughs> very uh, shiny. Yeah. Very soft. They're coats. very well maintained. They've got one has a uh, thin tail. One is a very poofy tail. I don't know if that factors into the speed. Yeah, the aerodynamics but, of the kitties. But uh, Atari has a very strong ring, but it's not very accurate. Yeah. Uh, Sprite has a very, uh, he's a very fast eater. So yes. that's their strength. He chokes it down in yeah. one gulp. Now their weakness is, is that Atari is a slow eater. He takes his food away and and Sprite gets very distracted he's by Atari. He's a very Atari. ADHD cat. Yeah. He'll be he, like, what's going on over there? And he just completely forgets we're, we're in of, a competition. He'll kind of wait for Atari to finish eating. He gets very distracted by Atari. So, yeah. Mm, yeah. yeah. So we've got about <laughs> 20 seconds left. So place your bets now. Let's yeah. see. How is it going? How are they going? We've oh, got, oh, uh, oh. oh, there's a bet on every possibility. Oh, good, good. One of these days there won't be. And we'll see what happens. And then th uh, Atari 3 Plus is at 1% one, 1 right now. Most of the money Very is low. on one, Atari 1 and 2. Uh -huh. Most of the money. Interesting. People are really going for you today. But Sprite is split. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Atari 1 to 2. Okay, yeah. it is over. All right. Let's get... We need trading cards for the players. <laughs> get the rookie cards. Well, we'll have to get some put together. Yeah. Okay, give you that. I've got some treats in my hand. Do we have, you have a laminator. I do have a laminator. <gasps> oh. I could make some cards. Oh, this, oh, did you see that? That's what he does when he he's hungry. Yeah, he'll oh. rub his face. Whoever, did you see that? Whoever That's a bet sign. on Atari. Yeah. Oh, some. Okay, ready? Come on. Come oh. on, someone hit it. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. Oh, Atari. Oh, uh, Sprite. Oh, oh no, Sprite ate it. <laughs> oh, what's happening? <laughs> He ate it. I didn't he even did. see him eat it. It bounced off and I had to give Atari one. Oh, there we go. We both got it. Okay. But Atari was, did did ring it first and yeah. multiple times. Sprite is lazy too. Oh, he was laying down going, ugh, whatever. <laughs> oh, oh. And Sprite caught up. Oh, harder. There you go. Three, oh, two for my Atari. Goodness. <sighs> oh, no. Give him another one. Here, Atari. Come here. It's there. Oh, you my found goodness. It. Don't look for another one. <laughs> oh, Tied up. There, it's, it's chaos today. It's chaos. What is happening? But Atari is in the lead. What oh, he's is... knocking it around the room. <laughs> Why are you, you just gave it to Sprite. Give him another one. He he won't bring it. No, okay, no. Bring it up. No, no. I no. can't. I can't keep giving him more because he knocks it all over the place. <laughs> okay. There, there we go. go. I mean, you can give him the point, but I'm not giving him another, oh, I, another treat. I did. I give. Yeah, I gave him the point. There we go. Yeah. Five four. What is going on? It's to ten. Uh, to ten. Atari, six to four. Atari is destroying. Oh, I just six threw two. Five. Oh, no. I feel like we Part have to start problem. over. Part of the problem. <laughs> what is going on, you cats? <laughs> oh, my God. User error. Okay. Revenge. Next. That's Next. That's right. Okay. Chaos. Okay. Gather yourselves, cats. Come on. Come on. Get it together. Hit the bell. <laughs> what both, are you doing? They're both looking at us. <laughs> 
Oh it's goodness. a very strange race today. Come on, cats. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, he found a crumb. Oh, oh my God. Oh, Sprite. There you now go. Now it's 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> Come on, Atari. Get back in the race. Hit Get the your bell. head in the game. Hit the bell. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Oh, I heard it. I heard it. I, both of them. Yep. Both of them got one. There you go. Very light. <laughs> confusion, fusion. <laughs> confusion, fusion. <laughs> it's you, now tied what up. What are you guys doing? Chaos. Atari, you had a two-point lead. What is happening? Oh, there, there we go. go. There's Atari. Eight, seven. You're just barely ahead. There you go. Ten seconds ahead. Oh, my goodness. Coming around the turn. It's oh. eight, eight. Oh, oh Sprite, Sprite takes pulls the ahead. Lead. Come on, Atari. Oh, Atari. Close behind. It is now game point. And oh, it's over. Sprite got it. Oh. Oh, what an upset. I am sorry. That was a chaotic game. Chaos. Absolute <laughs> chaos. chaos. What is going on? Atari knocked one into a pile of bags in the corner. Yeah. We'll like, have to fish that out later. Oh. Uh, don't throw the tree. I don't even throw them that far. Atari goes whack. He whacks it halfway across the room. Oh, oh my god. Oh, you kitties. Here. Chaos. Here. Chaos cats. I've got, I've got I've got treat residue on my hands. Lick it off. There you go. Okay, so Sprite won by one point. So let's dole it out and see who got it. Is there a full moon tonight? <laughs> yeah, they're crazy. So there were five people who bet on Sprite one to two. Oh, wow. So okay. they get to split uh, 21,000 points. RC70 is the big winner today. Congratulations, RC70. Mm -hmm. Or forgetting all those points. I thought for sure it was an Atari night. I, uh, he started off. He was really strong, fast. but then it just developed into chaos. Treats were everywhere. People were <laughs> stealing them. There is so much chaos. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm getting cat licks right now. Oh, that's cute. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's... Time for our first game, which is Escape <laughs> from Mars. This is a 2024 exclusive world premiere. For the 2600 by Leandro Camera. Uh, it was first posted about on November 10th, 2023. Uh, in on Facebook, I believe. There we go. Let's show you that. Put that away. Escape from Mars, Atari 2600, uh, coming soon. So there's some screenshots and uh, looks like a colony on Mars nice. over the over the hill looks really nice yeah very nice cover there was um leandro does very great packaging mm -hmm. um so very strong strong in that uh regard and then it was uh posted also on facebook december 23rd ho 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 christmas is here and with it the <laughs> launch of escape from mars game secure your copy on pre-sale via email uh, attention, blah, 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 blah. Limited and numbered run. Don't miss out on your own. It doesn't say how many mm. there are. <laughs> so could be to a thousand, could be 10,000, could be two. We don't know. <laughs> Hopefully he'll chime in or I have it in my notes somewhere how many there are. Um, so let's start it up. And this is an exclusive world premiere. Okay, let's get the joystick. If you want to load it up. Skip from Mars. Oh, and let's do that again because I was not on the right part. So nobody saw a thing. There we go. That's better. Oh. Very loud. Sorry about your eardrums. The Mars landscape. We've got some stars. We've got uh, the... Lander? Uh, Mars... Mars has some moons, does it? Does it have moons? I don't know I don't if Mars has... Anymore, does anybody know if Mars has moons? Is there some sort of moon well, there? It could also be planets. <laughs> Very nice title. Look at that. The shadowing of the... Nice. 
Um, abandon Mars after the fi final conquest of the moon, a new crew of astronauts were sent to colonize Mars. Mm -hmm. After 40 years of building bases and roads along the uneven surface of the red planet, an alien civilization has emerged to claim its territory. Mm -hmm. Now you have to fight the enemy and fuel the six rockets that will transport 600 humans to the new space colonies. Mm -hmm. Escape from Mars is inevitable. You just have to make sure you complete your mission. Yeah, very Moon Patrol buggy. I mean, you're going to need some sort of buggy on Mars to get around. Uh, okay, so let's read out the instructions for this. <clears throat> uh, goal. You need to collect six propellants required for each rocket to take off. To collect the objects, jump with the vehicle. Take them to the launch base, which is located at the edge of the course, jumping over the obstacles on the ground and destroying the enemies in front of you before the time runs out. You have five minutes. Mm. At the bottom of the screen, you can see how many thrusters you have collected and your score. You can see the score there. What is happening out there, cats? <laughs> the vehicle has a shield, okay. number of lives, represented by the energy bar. So there's a bunch of scores for different enemies that okay. you uh, shoot and collect and all that. Um, then there's a bonus wave, which we haven't got to yet, okay. so we won't do that yet. Um, Controls? Uh, d d d nope. <laughs> On the back, I thought I saw Did you see them? Yeah. Controls. Oh, vehicle movement. Okay. Use the joystick left to move the vehicle through scenarios. Right increases... Oh, left joystick, not joystick left. Right increases speed, left reduces speed. Mm -hmm. Up, vehicle jumps, also collects objects, jumping up. Moon patrol, yeah. Yep. <laughs> uh, top right diagonal, vehicle jumps forward. Top back. left diagonal, vehicle jumps back. Gotcha. Note you can move the vehicle in the air during the jumping. Ooh. I the like vehicle that. does not collide with the enemy tank and the frozen rock when it is in the air. Okay. Um, the vehicle laser cannon, you do have weapon. Uh, vehicles equipped with a laser cannon that fires in three directions. Uh, the button, horizontal shot, vertical shot in bonus waves. So just the button shoots horizontally. Kay. Button and down shoots up. Mm. Uh, direction up then button, vehicle jumps and shoots diagonally. Okay. <laughs> Be careful not to hit rocket boosters and condensers. Uh, during the bonus wave, the vehicle cannon only fires vertically. Okay, I'm sure there is a reason for the interesting controls and firing. Oh, what's happening? Oh, it's to the next part of the demo. Um, okay, I think we can start the game. Uh, just want to make sure difficulty, difficulty switches and bl color black and white are not used in the game. Okay. Okay. Nope, not couch compliant. <laughs> you do not get certification, sir. Okay, there's a UFO. There's cracks in the road, which don't seem to affect you. Not yet. Your game is not couch compliant. You have 20 seconds to comply. There you go. <laughs> Your game is not couch compliant. Oh, there you go. Okay, the UFO at the top is 300 points. UFO at the, bot UFO at the bottom is 200 points. I can go right over these cracks. Yeah, I think those are fine. I think those are just threatening cracks. Oh, that one now they've... just collapsed. So. Oh, oh. What am I supposed to... oh, I have you... to shoot it. There you go. Uh, enemy tank. Oh, gosh. Uh, 100 points for the enemy tank. Uh, collect the rocker, rocket propell propellant, 50 points. Capture the condenser, 400 points. Collect the flag, 300 points. Bonus for completing the course, 100 points. In the bonus, you get four shield charges. This is nice parallax. Uh, yeah, some parallax of... Is there parallax? Yes. Yeah. No. Yeah, there is. Oh, the ground does move slightly different than the cities in the background. And then you've got the mountains that don't move, but they're in behind the cities. Very nice. Collect that. No, no. No? I don't think that's a collect. I think that's a... I think I hit it. I'm not sure what am I collecting. Tell me what I'm collecting. Okay. Uh, d d d collect the six propellants. Where are the propellants? Um, well, I don't have the actual manual, so I don't have any No, that hurt me, so yeah, it. maybe I am. How okay. do I collect it? Um, oh. 
like this. Right. At the bottom of the screen, you can see how many thrusters you have collected, which don't show anything, so you have collected zero thrusters. But I'm not sure. Oh, you can't shoot multiple shots easily. You only get one shot at a time. Are the UFOs? Oh, I have to collect those. I keep shooting them. Oh, what? Shooting them? <sighs> I missed it. The pink things. I have to. Oh. Yeah, very nice graphics. Come on. Nice gradation. No. Oh, I think. Sorry, what was it to collect it again? It doesn't say how to collect it. I thought you said you shooting down to collect or something. Or that's stuff in the sky. That's stuff in the sky. I'm confused by the pink. Be careful not to hit the rocket boosters and condensers. That's what it says. Oh, so I I, I don't want to hit them. Yes. Okay. It's one shot at a time. Is that what's it happening? Is. Oh, you're jumping so... and shooting, so you're doing diagonally. Oh, maybe you have to jump in the air to collect them. Jump in the air. Yeah, that might be it. There you go. Shoot, then jump. That energy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and I'm dead. I'm dead now because I keep shooting them. Where are the mountains flashing? Everything's flashing. Yeah, because she's dead. almost dead. I'm dead. That's why. Okay, I want to start over because now I know what I'm doing. Oh, that one closed up. <laughs> Low health. Yeah, that Is was this bad. a game in the past or future of Mars? I think it's the future. I think it said um, in the future. After 40 years of building bases. Yeah, so now plus 40 years after we land on Mars. This is the afterlife. I heard some cat meowing. Yeah, you did. It sounded so distant. It's probably upstairs. <laughs> Close the door on himself somewhere? Fail. Can't do easily Oof. two things at once. No. Jump for that. There yeah, we go. That makes more sense. I don't think it says jump for it. Uh, it's, you said something about jumping to collect. Oh, here it is. Up. Vehicle jumps also collects collect. objects. Collect. Yeah, oh, okay. that's yep. what I was missing. Yep, yep. <laughs> you have to jump. Musktropolis, that's the name of it. There you go. Oh, we got energy. Okay. Now we're going. Now we're happening. We're figuring it out. Much better. So jumping straight up doesn't doesn't clear that. You have to jump to the right. To get I, I am. Yeah. I am. I think he's locked himself in the room. How? I don't know. I think How did he lock himself in? Is he? He was behind the curtain. He was, he was behind the curtain in the bedroom just going, Mow, Mow, Mow. <laughs> he was like, I can't get out of the curtain. <laughs> no, I said, kitten. And he just ran out of the curtain. Oh, he's silly. He's so silly. You're so silly. I think you're all pretty cool after winning, eh? After coming from a, a two-point deficit. Oh, getting the hang of it now. Howling at nothing. That's what cats do. Ugh. Get your ass off Mars. Get to the space chopper. Oh, I keep shooting as I'm jumping, and then it doesn't shoot straight. Oh, more energy. Good. So you've got three. Ugh. Oh, we covered that one. Oh, interesting. It closes up sometimes and opens other times. Four, and I think it's six. Oh, you have always stuck half on the I saw that. half on the screen, half off. Nice hey, break. You're being very cute. Super cute. What's in those greenies? We'll never know. Uh, they don't list ingredients for cat food. <laughs> or do they? Oh they do. Yeah. It's a lot of stuff. You're like, it's I so have greasy. no idea what any of that is. Oh, it's so many things. Last one is rosemary extract. 
Oh, you like the rosemary extract? He's like, it's very tasty. The one tiny, tiny, tiny drop of it. Look at this cutie. Look at that cute cat. Oh, <laughs> mountains are flashing. Oh. Oh. oh you have lots of energy. I so. do, which is good. But still. Just don't shoot the pink things. Uh, you need the pink things. Yep. For some reason, my cats were unimpressed by greenies. Really? These guys go crazy for Oh, yeah, for they, them. they are big, big fans of the... One more? Yes! Okay. So now you have to finish the level, I think. Oh, sorry, cat. Um, do, 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 your vehicle, blah, blah, blah. Bottom screen, how many thrusters? Um, and you have to... For the rocket to take off, I'm guessing it'll appear when the next pink one would have appeared. So you have to go a little mm, bit further. So makes sense. next one is a bonus wave. At the end of each route, the vehicle arrives at the rocket launch base. You'll have to resist the enemy attack while astronauts board the spacecraft within Yay, two minutes. Yay, did it. So resist enemy attack. So sorry, say that again. Resist enemy attack while you... Well, I just shoot? Yeah. Each rocket has... So jump over that thing, I'm guessing. Oh. Kitten. Oh my god, what are you doing? Um, jumping over obstacles and destroying enemies in front of you. So you have to destroy those. What? Destroy those enemies in front of I you. I can't destroy the ones in front of me. Oh, right. Okay, I can only shoot up. Yeah. I think they just mean those. Yeah. They're not shooting at you, so they're not much of a threat. Oh, God. That thing was it's, slow. It, it's, it's... So they're loading into the rocket. So you have to do this for two minutes. This is just a bonus wave, so it's okay if you don't... Not doing very good. If you don't do very well. Um, at the end of each route, a vehicle arrives at the rocket launch base. You'll have to resist enemy attack while the astronauts board the spacecraft. Each rocket has a crew of 100 humans who must necessarily get back on board before they can load the boosters and take off safely. Uh, when you make it... While you make it... Oh, they're your, shooting wait, now. The next, oh, boy. They weren't before... You can keep track of the total number of astronauts on board using the two digits to the right of the score. So uh, 58 loaded on. Destroy the enemy ships and protect the crew, but be very careful on the loading rail and the force fields installed on the runways of bases. Oh. I got shot. Hit it in the air. Have you been able to jump over that thing? Oh, yeah. Or is it just really It's hard? just slow. Like, it's, uh, okay. you have to hit the very right tight. angle. Yeah. Texture says, I don't quite know what's going on, but it's already better than the arcade Moon Patrol. And I love Moon Patrol. Yeah, there's lots going on. You can in in Leandro's games, there's always a lot happening on many levels. Which is fantastic. Yeah, Looks so he fantastic. uses the vertical really uh, well. width of the of the game really well. Because you can see there's guys, there's a thing going on below you, there's UFOs at the top, there's a rocket in the middle of the screen that looks great. Oh my god. Did it work? <laughs> Rocket's taken off. Woo! Get those people out of there! You did it! Very nice. Oh, well, now, there's, now you're in a different part. Okay. Uh, the landscape of Mars. There are since six landscapes of the red planet. A millennial uh, civilization, wave one. This is wave two, the launch pad. No, no, no. No, that was a launch pad. It's Crystal City, wave three. I'm guessing this is Crystal City. Um, throughout the scenarios, you will pass through the Sea of Solitude without the mountains, and the Crystal Mountains, sparkling. Oh, okay, we saw them sparkle. These territories help identify your progress along the way and whether you're managing to complete the mission within the allotted time. Oh. Whoa, now they shoot. You have to jump. Oh, and dodge. Oh my God, and there's pits. That open and close. Um, if you take too long to complete the route, the vehicle will enter the radioactive zone of the planes, lasting 50 seconds, and that could be the end of you. Oh gosh. Yeah, this it's one's a very hard low one. clearance for jumping. Like, like, it's like just very enough, precise. Right? Yeah. So this is the second part, the second wave. Hachi Station. Yep. Get those, uh... Bidet. Energy! 
not energy, um, propellants. Ugh! No, he's, he's uh, talking about Star Wars. Um, who, oh, who, what? Uh, water, water farmers? No, um... Nerf herders? Like Nerf herders. <laughs> power converters. Power converters. Get uh, the power converters to the Tachi station. Oh, gosh. oh, they look like Tatooine evaporators. That's what it is. Evaporators. <laughs> evaporators. Nice. Uh, let's see. Anything else I missed? Oh, I didn't mean to shoot it. Ah. <laughs> oh, your energy is bad. Your energy is getting I down. I need a blue thing. Ah, oh. you can't jump over them. Like, it, it's so precise. It's a lot going on. Yeah. Because you have to jump over the pits. You have to jump over the... Oh, I need that. Oh, oh did oh. it give you energy? No, it didn't. No, it's not energy. Oh, <laughs> not doing great. Oh. Not doing great. At least there's a bit of um, reprieve every time you get hit. That's what you need. Oh, it's so minimal. No. Oh. Gotta move. Jump forward. No, but I'm jumping and I'm shooting because I'm trying to shoot when I see him. <laughs> but if I'm in the air, yeah. it won't shoot forward. So right. that's kind of the timing thing. Yeah. Ah! No! no! I need energy anyway, but yeah. Oh, goodness. It's your last chance. It's, yeah. It's dodging those shots. Can you it's, reset it's, for it's me? Hard. Oh, you almost unscrewed the ball right off. <laughs> I'm good for you that. You know it's an intense game. I'm when... good for unscrewing the ball on the joystick. <laughs> there you go. Just, I just so, constantly turn. <laughs> yeah. So you can move back left and right and shoot forward. Moisture farming. <laughs> Moisture farming. Speeder pitfall. Yeah, the scrolling is really smooth. It looks so good. It's really, really smooth. Uh, the animation is really great. I love the really radiation great. of the mountains in the background, the crystal mountains. Or I guess it's not crystal mountains this level. Oh my god. No, that's when it's it's alerting you that you're getting close to the end of the level. Nostalgic points out, at least this doesn't get super hard until the second level. Leandro's yes. earlier games were oh. hard on the first level. Oh my god, some Correct. of those were like brutally hard on the first. No! Oh no, shot the energy. <laughs> yeah, not so easy, is it? <laughs> No. To, there's so much going on at once and that's what makes it challenging oh is you can only have one shot in the air so you're it's yes. hard to get a second shot out if you miss time your shot like that's right oh yeah, yeah. hi are you happy you almost won almost <laughs> you did you're very close you were so close you were you were ahead of that little black fluffy kid oh, i wasn't for a while. pulling down uh, somebody was saying somewhere that um, we've had 60 frames per second gaming since 1977. Oh. Because the 2600... Oh yeah, they were saying, oh, if you didn't... Uh, modern games could take a lesson from the 2600 mm. because if you didn't have 20, 60 frames per second, like the television insists, the game wouldn't work. Hey, we just got raided by Rendered Ghost. Oh, thank hey, you. Ghost. Damn it. <laughs> no, I shot it. Oh my God! Thank oh, you for no. the raid, Rendered Ghost. I got you hey, down Miss Snowmer, Chelsea, Donny, Mal, Mad Doggy, Rendered Ghost, and and Cultra, six six six. Thank you all. Thank you for subscribing, somebody. I'm playing Tanya. Can you read out who just subscribed? It's I did. in the chat. It, oh. oh, subscribed. Yeah. A rendered ghost subscribed. Oh, thank you so much, Yay. rendered ghost, for rating and subscribing. Yes, thank you for joining us tonight. I hope you had some good, uh, fun game game playing on your channel before you showed up. Um. So Tanya got a new toy. <laughs> kind of. I did. It was a Boxing Day. Uh, if if you're unaware, the Boxing Day um, celebration. Um, <laughs> Which is essentially Canadian Black Friday, although it's not really Canadian Black Friday anymore. You just shot it again. Um, you got a cat terrorizer. I yes. So uh, <laughs> there were a lot of deals on um, robot vacuums. So we got a robot vacuum. And he's wanted a robot vacuum for so long. Well, this this house is just covered in cat tumbleweeds because these guys fluff everything up all the time, and it's always frustrating to vacuum. Yes. So we um, named it Cat Killer. <laughs> like you can name your robot. Yeah. 
Uh, so now we have a robot vacuum, and um, you're gonna have to play some of the footage of, oh, of yes. um, the two cats no! and their first experiences with the robot because it is quite funny. Thank you for subscribing. Yes, well, Atari 800 XL rules gifted <gasps> two tier one subs. Whoa, we must be having a. Um... Yeah, thank you so much. And now I think we're in one of the hype trains. That's what I was trying to remember. Yes, we are. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That glad. Oh you're yes, no, the we show. have it. We have to put googly eyes on the vacuum bot. Oh yes. We have, we have to get to some big that. ones. Yes. Mm -hmm. we'll Yes, so, yeah, thank you, Atari 800 XL Rules! Wow. That was really nice of you! Very nice of gifting those subs. Yes. So who got, does it say who got them? Uh, yes, it does. Uh, and it just scrolled past. Oh, I've really? got a cat on my lap. Oh, I've got I'll all the energies. All the energies. Just have to make it to the end now. Get, get it, get it. Don't die. Oh, I'm Good job, you're flashing. Yep, everything's flashing. Did Atari or Sprite ride the robot vacuum? Uh, Not yet. No. Not it, yet. If anyone does, it'll be Sprite. Yeah. Atari is still very suspicious. Yeah. He's not hitting it yet. They're not smacking it. Not smacking it. But Atari definitely keeps more distance than Sprite Yay. does. Hey, nice little flag. Yeah. Oh, you have to jump for the flag. Oh my god, you could accidentally pass it. Just. Hey! hey! Ghost, thank you. Woo. Thank you Hype for the train. bits, bits, bits. This is me using bits for the train thing. Thanks you, thank you, Iopta, Lopta. I always forget. Lopta, Iopta. Oh, <laughs> oh, fonts. Oh, fonts. Why are you? Thank so you, bad, rendered fonts? ghost, for the bits too. Woo. Wow. Everybody's going nuts tonight. Nice, nice, nice. Lopta, thank you. Lopta. Lopta. It's just a lowercase L, right? Yeah. Oh, good, good. You're doing good. Uh, so far, they Get aren't them. shooting yet, though. They do eventually. Hello, hello, kitties. Um. So Leandro did send um, some cheat codes. <laughs> <laughs> if we weren't very good at playing this. Oh, okay. So but, we can see some higher levels. I yep. think we'll get past I'm level doing three. I'm pretty good. Yeah. I think you'll do. You'll beat me in the next round. So. Oh, now they're shooting. You're I'm already going. doing a better job of jumping that. Yeah, rail. I didn't hit it once. <laughs> I don't think. I do find the jump is very precise. You have to you jump have, at exactly the right point because the clearance is pretty. You have a little narrow. bit of clearance. Yeah. But it's you do have to do an angle jump. Keep them all my energy. Yeah. I don't think the energy goes down on this level, which is good. It does. It does. does it, it goes down with your if you hit the thing on the bottom well, or if, if they hit you. It's not going down automatically, I mean. Hey, thank you, gamer composer! What did he do? More bits. Bits, bits for everyone, bits Yay. for kitties. Thank you so much. I think that's what they call them. Those are those are actual money. Oh those bits, yeah. Oh, those nice. are real money. Those So thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. The exchange rate is a hundred to one dollar, or are there a cent? Like one is a cent. A U.S. cent. A U.S. cent. Ooh, not a Canadian so cent. Much. A U.S. No, cent. it's very precious. Very precious. Our dollar's not super great, and hasn't been for a while. <laughs> hasn't been for a while. Yeah. Luckily, I didn't buy too much yeah, at. Thank you, uh, Text Rich. You didn't you buy so too much, much what at was that? Uh, PRG. <laughs> oh, in general, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Our last bill was a lot of money. <laughs> The, the, yeah. Uh, Ooh, well, it's Christmas for you. Yep. And robot vacuums. <laughs> Christmas credit card bills. Actually, I'm not even sure the robot vacuum is on. No, that it's bill. it's definitely not on. That <laughs> Thank you, Mad Doggy. Mad Doggy. Ah, Mad Doggy. Thank you. Loftus is approximately one piece since Brexit. Oh no. <laughs> one p. Who subscribed? Oh my God. All time record shatterer. I think that's for the hype train. Oh, wow. Setting a new record on the hype train. Wow. Oh, wow. Jeez. Keep going until the clock runs out, okay? Well, that's that's Twitch going, hey, we get a cut. We yeah. Get a cut. <laughs> Keep going. Twitch. Um, Nostalgic26 is gifting one tier one sub to Zero Page Community. Thank you, oh, Nostalgic. Wow, thank you. Oh, it's so hard, this level. 
Where's where's the energy things? Oh my god. What are we doing on our subscribes? Oh, probably are they going pretty up? well. Yeah, they're going up. Excellent. That I find hard. Oh, it's so dodging hard. Dodging that that shot, shooting him and dodging it. <sighs> you have to. You're doing kinda... a better job than I was. I was always hitting it. What you want to do is kind of get it where you're. What you do is like stay. Oh it always stay, opens. Stay them. right here. Yeah. And, and get jump. ahead of them and stay in the big opening. Yeah. And you can double up. Oh god. Oh, nope. Nope. Oh my god, I almost shot it. Yeah, good job. So there, that's where you want to be. Oof. You want to go into the big opening. Look at that hype train go. Woo! Woohoo! Thank you, choo, people. Choo. That's awesome. This level is not easy. No. It's no. Very challenging. Oh well, no, I'm gonna. And I'm it. assuming. Oh no! At some point, those spaceships will shoot down, probably in the next level. Oh, I slipped. Then I'll be even more dodging. Every second one they don't shoot, I think. Don't shoot, shoot. Oh, no. the timing! The timing. Oh, no. no! Oh, I hope they don't shoot those UFOs anytime soon on this level. It's hard enough. I, I'm guessing in the next... Yeah, in the next level they will. Oh, my God. Ah! Oh my god! Hype train success! Success! Excellent. Thank you everybody for your massive support. Yeah, and... No! Hype train emotes for everyone! Oh yeah, you get uh, Well, emotes. level one, but... What emotes? emotes for everyone. I don't know, I'm waiting to see. Oh! It's, what is this? Oh, it's... We got that, uh... I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's something weird eating a candy Oh, well, okay. Well, we'll see. Things weird eating a candy. Oh, come on! Hype yummy! No! No idea what that is. Funny, funny, funny. A whole bunch of emotes. Very cool. Hey! A cat in a box? <gasps> oh! Kitten, calm down! What's up? What's up? Come it's here. going crazy. I think some people got some cool emotes. Damn it! Oh! I need one more. Come here. No! What happened? I shot it! Oh no, the pink! Thought it was an enemy. Oh no! Uh, oh, you're doing well though. Uh, Almost there! I don't know about well. It's a madhouse of cats! It, it always is! It's a madhouse. They're going nuts. Okay, I need that. No! No! Oh, come on! Just need a, a little bit of energy. That would be very nice. Flag should be coming. Oof. Oh, that was close. Just gotta get to the flag. Dodge those bullets. I'm close to the flag. Oh no, Cat Ball Arena. My Atari H login stopped working. Password recovery says account not found. Oh, That's sad. contact Al. Yeah, uh, there's gotta be something going on. Let's go on to the there. website and there's probably some contact information for. Getting... Oh. oh my god, what what's is this? happening? Don't get hit by things that are flashing. Oh, okay. So it's a I'm pattern. guessing. I'm guessing. Damn it! I'm guessing. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, that gets you. Don't hit the flashing things. Dodge the bullets from the sky. Okay, I'm gonna stay in one spot. And then just okay. jump out of the way if the you have to. The shots are random. Oh, and if you do shoot them, they go away for a bit. Yeah. Okay, okay. So I will shoot them. I was thinking, oh, I'm not gonna shoot them. I'm just gonna concentrate on dodging. It's very hard to dodge. Okay, what I I'm think gonna do moving is, is better for dodging. Spot. And if it comes down, I have to I'll look where that is. Ah! But it moves too. They are running oh to Mars. My God. Or are they running off Mars? They're are they escaping. escaping Mars or are they escaping to Mars? No, we're on Mars. I, we're not on the moon? No. no. Okay. We're on Mars. Did anybody find out if there are moons of Mars? Yes, I'm, there are two moons. Two moons. What are the names? Uh it is up the chat now. <laughs> okay. But they did they did put type it in the chat. I've I've already forgotten unfortunately. What hit me? Nothing hit me. Something from the <gasps> sky? Oh the bullets are now going super super fast. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> Phobos and Diemos. Oh okay. Phobos. I have heard nice. of this before. Thank you, Lopta and Chalcedony Map.
I can't even move fast enough. I, I can't move out of the, the bullet's way fast enough now. Is it better to be in the middle? Is there no. more space in the middle? Uh, but or I do they stop I, in I the middle? I literally can't move fast enough to get out of the way. But like, the middle part is wider. Is it better to be in the middle? I, no, because I can't, I can't move fast no. enough. And they shoot. I guess I can move fast enough. Okay, let's go to the middle. It is a bit wider. You are correct. Well, maybe I can move fast enough. Why wasn't I here in the middle before? I don't know. <laughs> Oh it's, my god. It, yeah, it's, it's a bit better. It's a bit better. So now I'm just shooting and kind of peripherally looking for UFOs to shoot. But you have to hit... Ah! I, I, oh, I just oh, made it. Oh my goodness, I thought you died. Oh, do, 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 wow. do, do, do you notice if it refills my I energy? I think it refills. Oh my I god. hope it refills. No! Oh no, it doesn't! I'm so dead. Oh, you're so dead. Oh, I'm so dead. Those and these go. guys are shooting... Oh, oh boy, on, ang on angles. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm oh, dead. man. I'm dead in about two seconds. Here. Oh, my goodness. Now I see why he gave you cheat codes. <laughs> yeah. These games are do get very hard. Oh, is Graham not going to open up? Uh, one shot and I'm dead. Just one shot. The two moons of Mars are Atari and Commodore. <laughs> <laughs> Ours is bigger, too, and rounder. Yeah, moons can be any shape. Uh, Oh, wow. So that's how far I made it in the game? Oh, okay. I guess I did, because okay. I just made that's it cool. to the second that's part. Nice. Well, that's cool that there's a, a chart there. Really good game. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. um, Go out, get it, play it. Is it available? It's on um, pre-order right okay. now. Okay, pre-order. Go out, pre-order it, and then play it. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you like what you see, it's, very it's cool. kind of... Looks beautiful. Moon Patrol mixed with Moon Patrol, yeah. Something Space else. Invaders. I, <laughs> dodge, dodge, well, dodge. In Moon Patrol, dodge, there are things that you should up at. Yay! Thank you, nostalgic. It's party time for kids. It's party time. I guess I don't have to put this down. You ready for party time? Tari. Are you ready for party time? Okay, let's put one there. A little bit over here. Only a tiny bit. Tiniest. Bit ti there. Oh, that's way too much. It's party time. It's party time. Who triggered party time? It was Nostalgic26. Thank you. Thank you, Nostalgic. All right. The kitties are getting catnipped. Getting all nipped up. And then we'll see how that how they perform in the next round of uh That's right. After this games. game, maybe. Yeah. So the next game we're going to be playing is Cave Raider. Nice. By Steve Engelhart. Nice. Atarius Maximus, who is in the chat. Uh, this was first posted two days ago. Uh, this build is from today. This is kind of a... Uh, this is a special build okay. that allows us to cheat as well, if we want. But we will not do that right away. No. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Um, and also, uh, we're scheduling a developer spotlight on Steve Engelhart. Oh, cool. For March of this year. So we'll be talking to him live about his full catalog of games, going through them sequentially in order, mm. leading up to some new games that are not even out yet. Some updates to games. So, um... But let's take a look at this new game he's made. Okay. Cave Raider is a platform adventure game originally conceived over a decade ago as a sequel to my cave-in game, which is quite a popular game, was put out by Atari Age on cartridge. I never finished the original, and the game I did post back then was a complete mess on real hardware. <laughs> I spent a very long time now polishing it up and completing it. I expanded it to 64 64K super chip, a game to accommodate all the new additions and changes, and I'm using almost every bit of extra RAM and ROM space. It now features over 60 unique rooms to explore and over 120 treasures to collect and some secrets to discover. Okay, so let's load up the game. Let me ch switch that over. The cartridges, there we go. And switch over. Okay. If you want to load it up, please. Um, and the reason we're not playing this on, my, on the Harmony Encore is because 
64K games do not work on my Harmony Concord with this console. Mm. It's an evil console. I don't know why. This is it? Atari, uh, Fred Quimby has tried to help out, try to fix it, but uh, we is have no it? idea what's going on. Yep, yep, that's the one. Good. And this is, uh... have you played Atari today? Ooh. We have almost every day. <laughs> oh, Turn that up a little bit. how are those cuties doing? Save key found. Hold joystick. Oh, there we go. Maximus Games, 2012 to 2024. Wow. So we're going to look back at uh, 12 years of developing. Very nice title screen. Cave Raider. Cat Balleraina says, I remember Cave N.A. was great. We both started learning Batari Basic at the same time, and the speed with which he got it down made Cave N, and it was very impressive. Nice. Okay, let's get the volumes. Okay, so let's go to the guide. Very nice title screen. Mm -hmm. So move to the right. And press the button. Explore and collect all treasures. Very nice uh, guide there. I like it. it I like, love the colors, colorful. too. Search for the pieces of the gold chalice. Mm -hmm. Avoid all obstacles. Mm -hmm. Avoid water. Mm -hmm. Water is deadly in all video games. Unless you're swimming through it. Then it's perfectly fine. You know Mario? Oh, yeah. He well, can dive in the water, but don't touch the water. Uh, yeah, it's true. What? Um, find the key to the exit. Light the way with the lantern. Okay. Search for first aid. Okay. Don't forget to duck. Duck. Ooh. Can you become a grand master explorer? Mm -hmm. Now that's some very efficient uh, font there. Very efficient font. I think font. it's three by three font. Crazy, crazy font. You can mm. read the whole thing. Of course, in context, because if you saw that W out of context, it's like, what? Mm. <laughs> um, okay. Is this the first 2600 game to have in-game instructions? Oh, no, no, no. Ooh. Oh, many, many. Uh, many champ games have in-game instructions. Yeah. Um, you do see them. You do you see, see them. them from time to time, but yeah. not many do. It's not do. super common. No, because yeah. it's it's a lot of Three by four work. is this pseudo graphics. Oh, it's three by four. Nice. Is it f yeah, oh, four it is high. four wide. It's four high. Is it four high? Four high. Oh, four high. Three oh, wide, three four wide, high. Oh, three wide, four high. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it would work three high. Okay, play Cave Raider. There you are, your Cave Raider. Jump. Yeah. Left, right. So you have to get those little dots. Don't fall Oh, the that's the water. Very okay. nice death animation. Yeah. Most of the game is written in Batari Basic, but there's a fair amount of assembly in there now, too. It uses the platform sample that Batari posted, I think, in 2009. He used for Gingerbread Man. Ah, that's a, such a great game, Gingerbread Man. I still have to finish it. I, I just can't finish the last level. This one over there. That thing in the bottom is not deadly. It just pushes you. Which makes sense because it's the same thing that in Gingerbread Man where you Is can... that... Is that... Can I go down here? Oh, can. You can. Oh, into the water. Um, I grabbed the Atari Age splash screen code from the forums thanks to... I think it was Thomas J... Thomas J, Andrew D, and Carl G for sharing that. Also thanks to you, K Israel, for the Atari Background Builder 2. To revenge for answering my questions about expanding to 64K, Carl G, again for the text kernel. Is he the one who uh, answered? What am I doing? No. You're done that screen. All the dots are gone. Okay, so where do I go? Well, if you can't jump up there, you um, have to jump to the next screen to the oh, right. Oh, yeah, okay. And he's very floaty, so you can go quite a distance jumping. So avoid those uh, stalactites. Get the dots. Can you go down? No, you can't. Oh, fall through? Yeah. No. Now, you can get that one by jumping up. You just have to wiggle around a bit. For some reason, he goes up just a little bit higher when you move. Uh, to random terrain for maintaining his awesome at online BB and 7800 basic documentation. And I think it was Batari or Sar uh, CGD Gruff that shared the 5 1 split score lives kernel years ago. I couldn't have done this without all the community support. Thank you all. While the game is complete, I'm guessing there will be minor changes in the future if any bugs are found or any gameplay tweaking is needed. I tested the recent versions using a Harmony Encore, and the game itself runs rock solid on real hardware. 
In emulation, Stella 6.7 shows a consistent 262 scan lines during normal gameplay. There are few short and hopefully almost insignificant jump scan jump lines in between this intro splash screens that I saw that I can't seem to fix as of yet. That doesn't seem to happen during the game, which is the most oh, important. I haven't been able to test for a few weeks as my Harmony card stopped working. Oh, no. I ordered a new one a few days ago. Note that because it's a 64K game will not run on the original Harmony card. Must be on the Encore version. I'm attaching the current uh, binary, some basic instructions for the game, a full map of the game with hints and spoilers, and a short gameplay video that shows me playing the beginning of the game. The video does not contain any spoilers. I didn't notice it until after I recorded there's no audio. So I'll try and make a better video in the future. And so it does provide a map. Uh... Right into Oops. the water. I, 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 I did get it. I thought I hadn't. Anyway, that's okay. <laughs> uh, no, not 12 years of development. Um, he's been developing for 12 years, if his splash screen is to, believe, believe, to be believed. Um, and there is a map that goes along with this game. It is very, 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 very wide, so I'm not really able to show it properly. Um, but it shows cool. all, the, um, all the rooms as a hint if you're having trouble. And um, I did notice there is a lower level. There's this this level, and then there's a, a bottom level as well. I think you have to get up to the... I think I have to get to the other. The top left or the top right. And then jump forward and land safely, not in the water. Uh. Nope, jump when it's come towards you. Um... And he's did, he did some updates uh, since he released the first version. Um, just very minor updates. Okay, so he, talking about this, this version that we're playing. Um, he hasn't decided if he wants to incorporate it into the official version or not. But this has a built-in cheat in the game that you can trigger. Right now we're playing the normal game, just as everybody's downloaded. Um, but you can set it so the lives never move from nine. Um, it may or may not see release because we were talking about at the beginning of the show, is it good to release games with cheats or, oh, I think we can jump to get that one. Yep. Ah! Into the water. Because uh, somebody on Facebook thread complained the game wasn't polished because it was difficult to, difficult to figure out some of the jumping puzzles and mentioned that to have a cheat option would be nice to have. And he's on the fence about it, um, about including a cheat mode or not. If our, if our um, poll is to be believed, the people watching this show don't care about cheats. They're fine with cheats. Um, it, I didn't get... He'll have to read through the reasoning behind all the people. Oh. Yeah, there are disappearing platforms. Boo. My turn. It's cool. It's very cool. I love platform games. Oh, <laughs> my God. I love platform games. Oh, good night, D-Train. Good night. Why did it have to be snakes? <laughs> yeah, it's very, uh, very Indiana Jones-ish. Oh, someone asked, can you jump to the left from the first screen? And then Atari Moxima said no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, there's your answer. Oh, I see. There are some rooms that allow you to go up, but you'll have to discover them. Oh. Mm -hmm. Up. But you from have here? To discover them, yeah. Well, I can't get up there. No. Nope. Of course, I, I keep wrecked trying it. them. Oh, I you should can go do it down. room by room. No, you can go. It's easier. Well, never mind. We've already gone that way. And then go down to the right. No, go go down to the here? right. Yep, there it oh, is. Oh, yeah, that's much. Yeah, then so we're, uh, you do need to kind of figure out where to backtrack because some rooms you won't get to the area you need right. without either going forward or back. So Right. Yeah. Oh. Nope. There we go. Is anyone? No, no more. Ah! You can almost jump to that second platform. Right? Almost jump? Yeah. Or jump. Or jump. Hey. Ah! You can jump and he'll push you up if you jump on him. Oh. A little bit. Yeah. Um. He doesn't hurt you. He just pushes you up. There you go. Okay. That room's clear. So this one, yeah, you have to go back 
into the other room, I think, to get to, get to that one. What? No. No, because you can't get to it. So you have to go right to the right and then oh, back. Oh, that's on the bottom right. On the bottom right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is that the spot where I can jump up? It's quite tall. Nope. <laughs> I go off the screen. Uh, did you say top or bottom? Oh, way far. Yeah, I didn't get to that one. Can, I get, yeah. can I get that one up there? I don't think so. Um... This is this is right up my alley. Oh, Atari Maxima says the map that they shared on AA shows all the specific <laughs> locations, including including spoilers on where to find things. Oh. You can you can use it if you want, or you can try it without. Damn it! Devil's drop. Oh, every then, every room has a name. Oh, it does. Papyrus Hall. Oh, nice. Devil's drop. Very nice. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh my god. Watch out. You can duck, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw that disappear when I came on the screen. Does it? That what? top platform? I don't know. Some have very long timeouts. Well, I guess it's okay. Oh, okay. I'm going to go get the other one. Is there another one over here? Yes. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, then I have to get that one bound below. Okay, let's see. Got it. How do Carl I get G, I that guess no one, one else is familiar with Downland. I don't know it. Downland? Yeah. No? No. Haven't heard that one. How do you get across that? Can you jump that far? Horizontal? Oh. No, you have to get fall? on that. I don't know. And then you and have avoid to that. duck. You have to duck. Ah, scary. Guessing you have to get every crystal. <sighs> you can duck. It was very tight timing. Yeah. I think you can. Go yeah. can you duck? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you're on that platform you can just walk to the left and land. Okay. So you can walk to the left from that platform. Lies. Lies, lies says <laughs> James, lies. Oh, it's so tight of timing. Now I'm on here. It's much, much better. Oh, it's still there. What a pain in the butt. Oof. Where does it start? Oh. Is there another one? Yes. Yeah. I can jump through. Can you jump through it? No. Please let me out. My head gets out. That's good. It doesn't start there. Yeah, water's, a bit, be a water's a bit overflowy here. The character does resemble Indy. <laughs> kind of like manic minor meets indie there is um some timing issue i don't know if you notice this atari maximus on the um what i'm guessing is background mm. uh drawing it starts a bit like it uh mm -hmm. ends a bit early up there and starts a bit early there i don't know who cares but so you can see it ah you can jump up from that i think I hope so because you can jump through platforms Whoa. Oh, oh my god. Oh. What was that? <laughs> I thought I could jump <laughs> That's okay. further than that. At least you start at the top. Oh, I do want to be here actually. Can I jump that far? Um Nope. <laughs> you have to do it from the other side. Oh my god. High score. Hooray! <laughs> High score. Oh, and there's a little blip when it starts the game too. Mm. Not a big deal. I mean on somebody's some TVs it's gonna Oh, there was one there too. Oh, 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 it's going nuts. It's a very hoppy ah. IPA. Is that what I'm smelling? It's very bitter. Mm. Very hoppy. It smells like flowers. Uh, yeah, it is quite floral tasting, too. Apparently Mario really likes hops. <laughs> really likes hops. But I do like the can design. And someone saying it looks like an energy drink. It does. It does, it does look colorful. like an energy drink. Yeah. Gypsum, gypsum Rift. Mmm. Oh, come on. No! i got to keep all my lives. Oh, come on. Can I jump up and get it? No, of course not. Oh, oh you're just trying to be too fast. Take your time. Wait till it's coming towards you. There. No! <laughs> it's hard. Get right on the edge. 
Ah, uh, good go. job. Oh, I didn't get that one. I love platformers. Oh, uh, oh talking about movies. Um, oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, no, so. Yes, we saw two. Nostalgic, what? Uh, Nostalgic 26. It's called Devil's Drop for a Reason. Obviously, that's one of the runes. Yeah. And then Tet Tet Tetris Row says Devil's Drop sounds like a black metal band. And it does. <laughs> it that does. is a great black metal band. Devil's name. Drop. Um. Gamer Composer says, I just watched The Last Crusade last night, so this is giving oh. me more nostalgia. Last Crusade's so good. Um, Mario is Jumpman, so he would like hops. I didn't make that association, <laughs> TM events, but that's that's pretty good. He is Jumpman. Um, yeah. the, mo the movement reminds me of Dragonfire. So, you oh, watched Last Crusade it, last night. It is Dragonfire-y, yes. Um... James has a New Year's resolution. I'm trying to stick to it. To watch more movies. Yes. Because we've been pretty lazy in the movie watching last department in the last year or two. And we were sort of reflecting on, I think, a lot of YouTubers ha are putting out their favorite movies of 2023. And we were watching a bunch of them. Yeah. And it became very apparent that there are some very good movies out there that we just haven't been paying attention to. Yes. So we're trying to fill... Those evenings where we don't actually stream and don't have other things to do with catching up on some good movies. No! Uh, yep. So we watched... <laughs> two since... Two. Recently. In the new year, I guess. Yeah. Um, we watched They Clone Tyrone, which was excellent. Oh my God, so good. Excellent, excellent. Stylish, beautiful, funny, fun, sci-fi, crazy funny. film. Very funny. Um... If you've seen um, Cabin in the Woods, it has nothing to do with Cabin in the Woods. No, no, no. But it'll kind of remind you of that in one way. Yes, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. a little bit. A little bit. Um, it's it's very good, very clever. It is very, very clever. funny. It looks gorgeous. The cinema, the, the art direction on it. And the cinemato cinematography are Lighting, fantastic on just it. Just astounding. Just really, really entertaining film. And then the second one we watched, uh, not Barbenheimer, Gamma Dev. <laughs> Only seen half of Barbenheimer. We've seen, we've seen half of it. Um, was <laughs> Weird, the Al Yankovic story. Is yep. that what it's called? Weird, the Weird, Al Yankovic? the Al Yankovic story. Yeah. Which we all, I enjoyed it. It was pretty good. It was it was very silly. Very silly. Very, 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 very it's, silly. It's on theme. But but to be honest If you like Weird Al, you'll you'll like the movie, I think. It's exactly what you want it to be. Yep. It, as far as I'm concerned, it's a very, very silly movie. <laughs> so silly. Um but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it all. It was it was just what you would expect a weird Yankovic Weird Al Yankovic movie to be. Yep. Um and what's his face who plays Oh, there's so many people. Al, uh, Weird Al. Yeah. Um, oh gosh, Harry Potter. Why? Harry Potter. <laughs> the name escapes. Poor me. guy. His name's Harry Potter. Harry Potter guy. Uh, sorry. Oh god. I almost said Tobey Maguire. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. No. Um, oh. Uh, was fantastic in it. I thought. I thought oh, it was yeah. really, really good. So. Daniel Radcliffe. Daniel. Why that name just completely escapes me. Poor Mr. Harry Potter. Yeah. How do I get that one? I don't know how I get these. Okay, I, I'm gonna have to get it from that. <laughs> I think side. you have to get it from. You have to go past and come back. I'm guessing. Yep, hundred percent. You have to get one falling, and then you have to get one at the top. So I think you probably have to go to the next room. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh God. RC70, what about shows? I'm sure you haven't watched Halt and Catch Fire yet, and Station Eleven are crazy good. We only watched part of Don't Halt know, and Catch Fire. We watched part of it, and then we no longer had it on Netflix or whatever. But I did watch some of it, and I enjoyed what I saw. Don't remember Station Eleven. No, yeah. we, had, we didn't see that. Oh, oh no, now I'm up top. Oh, okay, well, I hey, guess I'm Kiki, going around. Hey, Kiki, PDPH, thank Actually, you for joining what? us. What, what, you, you're not getting it? No, I'm going to go to the right first. What you, why? Because of that. And oh, now I, see. I can go. Because I was like, well, once I go down, I'm not coming back. That's true. Smart. I 
Thank you. Have to fall. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Oh. As long as it doesn't push me into the water. No, I accidentally went to the top last time. Okay. Good job. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Okay. Arrows, That's going to push me off. No. Ah, uh, stop it. Okay, now what was it? Oh, okay. There. Oh, no, I, that's not bad. I think I like this. Yeah. Now just get up there. Everyone loves Halt and Catch Fire. But have you seen Ted Lasso? No, we don't have Apple TV. No, we don't have Apple TV. So we'll have to get that at some I point. I do want to watch it, but that that I haven't had, had the opportunity oh, no. to watch that show. I do have to go up on this. No. Ah! No! <laughs> no. Smoosh. Okay, that's not too bad. But who has time for movies and TV when there are video games to play? Oh, Blame, I know. you're missing out on movies on Baldur's Gate, yes, 100%. Baldur's Gate 3 is why we haven't watched movies for like the last seven months. That's what takes up most of our time. Yeah. But no, we're, we're trying to dedicate a bit of time to the movies that people are... Rec ah. <laughs> and Rage Reset. Oh, it starts from right from the beginning. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Carl G, I want to check out Baldur's Gate 3, but I don't own anything that will run it currently. You have a but, PC, don't you? No, but you need a, oh, you need a pretty good, good... That's right. That's true. ...game card to... Yeah, pretty good video card. Video to, card. Ah! That's the word I was, game I was card. looking for. Game card. Same thing. Need a good cartridge. Uh, yeah, yeah. A pretty good video card need to need an ARM processor in that cartridge. <laughs> Isn't there one, you know, in, in oh, the NVIDIA, be. you know, 4070 uh, X or whatever processor. it is? <laughs> yeah, very fast ARM processor. Very fast ARM. Linux, what is it? I mostly watch people play video games, best of all worlds, yeah. There you go. <laughs> um, yeah, very good. Uh, two very good movies. Of course, we're, we're watching movies that have been highly recommended. And very well reviewed. So. But there's, it's hard to know what to watch. I mean, really, my no, my big issue is I open list. Netflix and I stare at the screen and then I go to bed. That's the problem. <laughs> uh, it's like there's so much there and I don't want to be disappointed. I don't want to waste my time and you start flipping through things. So it, it is really nice to see these see people's lists for 2023. Yes, and like very handy. this is a good film. Okay, maybe I'll give that a try. Um, and not just the critically acclaimed films but just films that might be action films or they might be a little bit more fluffy you know like not they don't have to be no everybody has dramatic masterpieces or whatever so yeah everybody has yeah. different types of films they like so it's it's good to yeah watch find somebody that has the same sensibilities for films that you do mm -hmm. and go and check out oh my god i forgot that it Drops. Atari Maximus says, remember that you can always explore and come back to rooms. You don't have to collect everything on the first pass. True. I'll do that if I die. Vera Pocock says, I think if I ever finished my Netflix playlist, I'd have been dead for years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do, like... Oh, that's much easier. Oh. Periodically clean up my Netflix playlist. Oh, yeah? Where it's like, yeah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> it's been there for how long? It's not going to get seen, so. Usually by the time I want to watch yeah. it, it's gone from the, they deleted it. And and, I'm like, oh, and, God. And we so, often use Just Watch as well, which is pretty easier. good for if you have multiple subscriptions, but not necessarily all of them. Yeah. You can actually set it to only show you the ones you have, so. So handy. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, Gamer Composer. So I use this app called Letterbox. Oh, yes. Before I used a spreadsheet to know what I want to watch. But Letterboxd this app keeps my watch list ready. Yeah. yeah. What is Letterbox? It's 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 similar to Just Watch. To Just Watch. I don't know if it shows what platforms things are on, but mm. it, it, it allows you to make lists. That's it good. also has um, a really good review section that's, that's well used. Yeah. 
I, oh, yeah, I can't, can't so Gamer Composer says I go into every movie with zero expectations. James Smart. is like that. Does not want to watch any trailers. No. Spoils it. Um, You're seeing the best parts. I best go into parts. every movie with zero expectations. If I can't choose within two minutes, I whim pick. I simplify <laughs> the choosing. Whim pick? Whim. Whim. Whim pick. Yeah. Okay. I, have a tr I have a lot of trouble with that. Um, I really do. Picking movies? Yeah. De uh. Uh, decisions in general. <laughs> But yep. um, uh, I just don't want to miss out. I don't want to miss out on things. See her at a restaurant. I am not that bad. I am not that bad. She's but like, I do want to know. No, no. Waiter comes by. No. Uh, are you ready to no, order? No, like, I'm not uh, that bad. Uh, uh, I, 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 <laughs> I will argue this point. Um, I do like to know what other people are getting, though. And oh, James, yeah. it drives... What are you getting? James like, nuts. Does that impact you? What it you're does, getting? because I don't... If I am on the fence about something and I know you're going to get it, then I won't get it. Like, if I have a cup, If I have two or, th two or three things that I'm considering and yeah. you're getting one, I'll get the other so I can try yours. Except for the other day, where we... We both first, wanted the same first thing. First time oh, ever, no. I think. We both ordered the exact same thing. Yeah, because I really wanted, I really wanted it. But yeah. oftentimes, it, you're not necessarily in this mindset of no, I have to have the one thing. Ah! Oh no! Well, you got, you got. Oh no, you didn't get the thing at the top. Is that better from this side? Yeah. Oh no, it's better from the other side. That's does this decision time. making come with choosing to eat too? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep, it does. Um. Oh, oh dark room. Oh, but neat. But I have a flashlight, so it's okay. Oh, you have a flashlight. Where did you find the flashlight? I uh, just have it on me, I guess. Nice. Can I get over here? No, I can't. No. No? How do you get... Oh, you get up and over. Oh, oh. it's a dark maze. James' yeah. favorite kind of game. As long as there's not... Uh, Fully leaps dark of maze. Yeah. Uh, leaps of faith. Oh. That's what drives me crazy. Leaps of faith? Yeah, where it's like, well, you can jump down. I hope you don't die. Hope like you this. Don't die. It's like, well, at least I can see that. It's down you, here. You didn't what? memorize what you had? What? Is that not... Oh, it's it's gray on gray? What? How do I get that? What? There's That's a... in the other room. Is no, there? there's a thing right there, but it's gray. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's hidden. Your flashlight. What is it's... going on? There's one over there, too. Yeah, and you can't it... see it in the gray. Oh, that's kind of neat. I like yeah. that. There that... you go. It's hidden. Now I can <gasps> maybe get the other one from yeah. down here. Oh. Atari Maximus. Ha ha. There are two leap of faith leap rooms. No. They're not horribly difficult, though. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh no, I can't get up. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yay, Dark Maze, says Charles. Dark <laughs> Maze is... So I know a bunch of people have put suggestions for TV shows. Oh, Any boy. movies people have seen oh, that yeah, they yeah. really liked. We get Barbenheimer. We know. I I still haven't seen Oppenheimer. I should probably no. see that at some point. Yeah. Stay up top. <gasps> no! Oh, I think I have to go down here anyway. Oh, yeah. there you go. Woof! Got it. Is there another one down here? No. Is this it? Ah, uh, the lantern nope, you can find more. later in the game will light rooms like this up. Oh, the whole room. Oh, nice. I think I messed up. Station 11, RC70 says. Station 11. Okay. Pushing that one a lot. Yeah. And RC70 says, the Barbie movie was better than I thought. That was just really good. I love the Barbie movie. Entertaining. I enjoyed fun, it a lot. Not cheesy, just kind of just good. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think I messed up. Yeah, I think you did. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, good job. But I don't know if can I can get fall back down? to that. Uh, can you jump from the top over? Like, no. There must oh. be another path down. Yeah, maybe. Down. Uh, can't get that one either. No! No! So are these, uh, Atarius Maximus, are these just points? Or do you have to get everything? That's how you win it. That's how you win it. Oh my god. Oh, there's one down there. I have to go down. The Gray Man. I watched it five times so far. Whoa, what? The Gray my Man? My favorite What's movie on, on in five years, I guess? Wow. 
points. You can ex exit the game in the exit room once you find the key. Okay. Oh, okay. So these are just You don't necessarily points. have to get all of them then. Okay, well, I'll try my best. Yeah, well, get as many as you can. No one wants to die, though. No? Stinky cats? No, like something fruity. Mmm. Mm. Oh, oh it is this. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's quite yeah, strong. It's, it has like a fruity stinky. floral smell. Stinky. It's not stinky. Oh, no. <gasps> you went down. What's that? Is that the flashlight? It's a lantern. Oh, don't die. Nice. That's probably That'll 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 flood that me. room with light. Excellent. Oh boy. Uh oh. Now you jump think, over. I don't think I You can jump over to that, can't you? Oh, what are you doing? What do you mean what am you I doing? You have to get back up? You have to follow the, the path back up. Oh there. Okay. What what I thought you meant to the left. No, up okay. up that I assume. Yeah. You can't go back up from that room. Okay. Good okay. to know. Well, this goes somewhere. Oh, okay. Well, this is the beginning. Is this the beginning? Is this the first level? Mm. Oh, it is. Mm. Is it? Yeah. That's where I started. Wow. Interesting. It loops Very back. nice. I liked I liked the uh, dark area. I don't say that too often, but I did like the dark area <laughs> That's in this quite game. shocking. Because it's not unfair. Yeah. It's like, okay, I can see where I'm going a bit. I wouldn't say any of it was leaps of faith. Oh, the upper rooms are linear with the bottom ones. You drop back down to the first room. Okay, I see. Okay, I'm just going to continue on now. I, I think, think that this makes is sense. where. I went upward. Yeah. Spikes! Oh boy. Very spiky. Interesting. Can't get there. Hmm. What? What? Well, you have to go up and down, maybe? Uh, I have to fall anyway. Interesting. Oh, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> I don't know if those disappear. I think it's just that top one. Which you want to fall down anyway, because you have to get that. Mm -hmm. so oh, that this. Okay, it makes it easier to fall. Ooh, a moving one. Oh, what? Okay, what? What? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know if I can get it. Oh, I got it. Wow, nice. Good job. Ooh, okay. Um. Can you get up there? I Maybe. think I can from that one I here. You, you are correct. You just don't get hit by the yeah, water drop. Because it's better to stay on the top. I think so, because then it, what is it that? shows you... It's just some pixels? <laughs> some pixels. <laughs> is it a bat? Isn't it all? Aren't all we all pixels. just pixels? We're all just made up of different you resolutions know, of pixels. You know, getting really philosophical today. Oh, no, I'm at the wrong spot. Well, let's just go mean? above for a bit. Because it's hard to get back up sometimes. Oh no, bouncy pong. Bouncy pong. Is this a VHZC game? Oh, come on. Ah, oh, kick it. Oh, I'm like one pixel away. Mm. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Taurus Maximus. <laughs> you can you can drop down and jump back up. I think. You can oh. you can climb back up on that oh, side. I got it. Yeah. Good job. I accidentally got it. Oh. When you drop down an item oh, no. appeared that wasn't oh, there before. Hmm. Down to the first screen. Oh. It's like a UFO with just the side lights, says RC70. <laughs> yeah. I see. Dropping spikes there. Red one. Is, what's the red one? Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know if it's any oh, different. There's a dot. Oh. How do you get up there, though? Uh, it's red. That that means something. Uh, it, it means something. Can't get up all? there, though. Can you? Mm. Oh, you can. You can drop down to one of those. Mm. Oh no! Yeah, I could. Yeah, could well, you? Yeah. Watch this. No. Mm, not quite. Ah. Uh, oh, well, we're continuing on. 
Oh, you can jump up from that side. Go to the left. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Try again. Yeah, that's much easier. So I need to go pretty far. <laughs> Keep holding. Oh, there we go. Was that the key? No, it's just red. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Are Was there it red the key? points? I'm pretty sure the key will look like a key. Okay. How many of those disappear? Just the one? Just the one. Mm. <gasps> oh, so close. That's so far away. Oh, I don't like that one. <laughs> I don't like that one at all. Of course. I love how, how the water just... Get out of there? The foot of water <laughs> kills you instantly. <laughs> uh, it's poisonous. Poisonous. It's absolutely dangerous. Rancid water. Acidic water. Rancid. Oh, Ooh. oh my God. Is it random? Ah, uh -huh, it is. Random-esque. Oh, it is. It's got a bounding box and... Mm -hmm. I don't like this. <laughs> the marble pool. Oh and my gosh. That was a good run. Oh, it's a good game. Yeah, it is a good game. Very, very, very good game. You're taller than <laughs> yeah. the water. <laughs> yeah. It's the feet. It's, it poisons it my is. feet. It is. That room is tough. Yeah, that's tough to get through. Uh, really good game, Atarius Maximus. Yeah. This is right up my alley. I mm -hmm. can see where the gingerbread man... Um, uh, engine comes into play because mm. in Gingerbread Man you can jump around the whole screen and the game does not care. Like you can just do whatever. Just jump bounce brick, 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 brick. Wherever you want to go is I fine. It's definitely um, yeah, like quite a large hardware hair. based um, collision because it's just you can just move anywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is a huge map. 60, 60 rooms. Really? Okay. Yeah. That will take a, like quite a while to get through. 30 and 30 or something yeah. or it's, it's a lot. It's it's a lot. Super fun. So that is available for download in the Atari Age forums. Very nice. And we're going to move on to our last game and actually this is the final version. He's mm -hmm. going to do little minor updates, but all the game is there. And the uh, next game, Kovi Kovi, is the final version. They mm, the final it. version. Excellent. Yep, Marco Johannes. So let's uh, let switch back. It's treat time. It's yum time. Oh. Yum, yum, yum. Is it time to redeem yourself, Atari? Are you gonna beat that gonna little whippersnapper? You that almost little did. Black fluffy sprite. You almost did. It was close. It oh, was close. Oh, he feels confident. Right. I can tell. I can tell this gray cat's confident. Yeah, he's stretching. He's very confident. Are you feeling cat. confident? Are you feeling good? Let's reset the points. Are you feeling good? Are you feeling good tonight? Oh, have you played with your Atari cat today? We have. Okay, let's start it up. Start the predictions. Thank you, Charles Wheeland. Yeah, that is a game um, that goes definitely into the after dark. That's a game I want to beat. Yes. It's just so good. It That's looks exactly really good. That's exactly my type of game. The platforming, the collecting, the lots of screens, mm -hmm. the multiple types of challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, place your bets. Place, place your, your bets. bets. Again, we have the Grey Cat Atari. We yep. have the fluffy sprite cat. No, you, you're not going to come and <laughs> rub up against me. It's like, nope. I got. They're already in their corners, warming energy. themselves up, psyching themselves up to win to the win to win the oh, round. That's right. Ready. Are you ready? Got about a minute left to bet on these two cats. Which cat is more juiced after the kitty? <laughs> yeah. I think people have theorized that Atari gets a bit more juiced. Then this guy. Then this guy. This guy slows down just a tiny. Either this guy slows down or Atari or gets more up. juiced up. Yeah. Yep. Oh, they just gave a kiss. Oh. And Atari's like, oh. <laughs> okay, kitties. <laughs> what are the bets like? Uh, All right. Oh, okay. Everybody's Spread. covering everything. Yeah, good, good. Most of the bets on an Atari 1 to 2. That, Some faith they in Atari. still feel pretty good that, that might he's going to win. That might be a wise bet. Yeah. I think it might be. Yeah. Oh, what's going on? Got something in your mouth? Oh, that's not good. Not a good sign. There's some meows coming from Sprite. Yeah. Atari is still. He's conserving his energy. Yeah. 
Are you so, ready? As long as you don't you bat your treats away. Oh you my gosh, he'll knock them up halfway whack. across the room. So don't do that. So maybe throw it a little bit far from I him. try to throw so, it close to the ground, but, but he just sometimes just goes whack. wham. And Cats I are like, really good at yeah. smacking things. And, in the air? And they're yeah. they're so fast. That's why they're so good at catching birds. Oh, got about 10 seconds left. All right. Oh, Sprite 3 plus. Oh. Oh, Sprite 3 plus. Some yeah, last minute bets. some people feel Sprite's going to do it. Okay, that's it. Okay, we're okay. time to wake up, cats. Wake okay. up. Ready? And go. Nobody. <laughs> Come on, you got to hit those bells. Oh, oh Sprite, Sprite gets the first, gets the first one. The first Atari one. gets the second. Atari so quickly follows, and he's batted it under the couch. Of course. And he's lost it. And Sprite has... Come on, you silly cat. No. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Give him you lost one. it. Don't no, give him another one. Oh, no. He's going for it. Okay. Sprite gets it. An another one. 3 1. And Atari's hitting everywhere hit but the bell. bell. Hit the bell. And oh, Sprite's 4 sprite. 1. Oh, the person who bet on. Oh, there, there we go. go. The person who bet on Sprite 3 Plus is, is going to get it, I think. Oh, Sprite, sprite again. Sprite. Lead of 3 now. Atari. Atari. Sp covering that spread. Oh, that was Atari. Atari. And that Sprite, Sprite follows up. 6 3. Still, oh, my goodness. Still 3 up. And oh, Sprite, Sprite just wants it today. 4. Oh, there we go. There's no Atari. recovering from this. Usually not. Sprite. 4 up still. Yeah, there's no recovering. Hit the bell. 8 4. It's Atari, almost what's game up point. With you, buddy? Oh, Good kitty. There we go. Sprite's dazed. He's distracted. Oh, he didn't hit hard enough. And now it's game point. He's four up. That was Atari. Th three up. Can Atari get one more in and disrupt the... Th oh, no. my gosh. No, not even close. It's over. It was all Sprite all the time. Some treats. Four plus. Concession treats there for you guys. Oh, boy. Oh, you kitties. You kitties, No. Too. No. Says Charles Wieland. Well, let's find out. Oh, so who bet on the Sprite to a win? A lot of people? Or well, one person? A lot of, a lot of points. Anyway. A lot of points. So the winner is Sprite 3 Plus. Marco Johannes. Marco Johannes. And two others. So to celebrate that, wow. we're going to play his game. Nice. <laughs> uh, way to win. Kobe Kobe. Oh, my goodness. Congratulations, Marco Yeah, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very solid bet there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's uh, switch over and play the next game. Okay. Here's your joystick. And Thank this you. is a, actually this is a two player game. Uh, I'm going to plug in the second joystick. Oh, Carl G, I picked the wrong week to back Atari. Oh, oh no. Atari still loves you. <laughs> Don't worry. Nostalgic26 says, next time, Atari, and we'll have your owners put wood blocks in front of the couch so you can't knock treats, oh, treats under there. Right. Sometimes he, he, there was, what was it? Was it on uh, New Year's Eve? He won with three plus, with three points. He did. He destroyed. I think everyone was in shock. <laughs> I was did, in shock. I was in shock. He did really well. So he does pull through sometimes, but... He has to be in the right mood. So last time we played Kobe Kobe was May 16th, 2023. This is the final build of it. Have you played Atari today? Nice. Very crazy, crazy screen. I think you can turn that off if you want. Um, so this is the final build uh, of... On May 19th, there was an update. Fix a vertical hold instability on some screen setups is found by Zero Page Homebrew. Uh, mm -hmm. December 24th, version 4 binary has been released. The This version was set to be released on 31st of December 23, uh, unless bugs are found. So you just stuck just under the wire for a completed game for the Atari Homebrew Awards. Very nice. Uh, new features. Needle reorientation. Needles can be rotated and opened and closed for a short time when dropped. Um, music D, silence, is now selectable from the main menu. So you can uh, have no music. Mm. Right difficulty switch toggle flickers, uh, toggles flicker mode, which is useful for displays that don't sync to 60 hertz. Oh. 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 So if you don't want the flicker. Nice. Oh, caps. You can turn it off. Uh, right, uh, couch compliance feature added. 
during gameplay, hold down uh, player one's fire button four seconds to reset the game. Couch compliance. Game match M through G added. These are more difficulty challenges than original A through F. Matches G on upward have blowback feature used in two player games previously. Da, 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 da. There's a lot of updates. I will not read them all out. It is a lot. Bug fixes, rare screen roll when board is approximately half full. So we're going to play um, two player game. Oh, I already picked uh, single player, so... Can you get out of single? I don't know. Hold down the button? Nope. Hold down uh, the button for four reset. seconds? Oh, four... I'll try out the uh, reset. There we nice. go. Nice! Nice! Very nice. Oh. Okay, two player. Please. All right. What's Two Kovies. Um, music Let's change a? music. You want slow? Oh, let's see. Okay. Mode, mode A, I Marathon B, Sprint. he suggested D for us to play. Marathon or Sprint? Oh, uh, marathon. marathon. D, Speedy Stack? Uh, maybe, let's see the other ones. Need a cure, low back. We want a, a low stacks, speed. Infestation, Needle, needle Alley. alley. Ooh. Patient, Patient Zero. zero. Oh. Incubation. Impossible. Custom, Custom match. match. Easy, easy peasy. peasy. You want to start um, easy? Maybe not right on easy. Then steady there. start. Steady start. Okay. Let's try that one. B. So ratios. Oh. oh, sorry. So it switches between, between people. people. So what are we trying to do again? You're trying to... Now they don't, you don't do matches. And then this is you. You stack them. By color and then the needle then the kills needle everything of that color, it. right? Yes. So now you've got a needle, so you can prep that needle for purple when it comes down. For so purple? press up. There. Now the needle will point ah, up to get things that are up. Gotcha. Oh, That's cat wants out. One out. Now we've both kind of done the same thing. Yeah, of course. That's fine. RC70 saying, My family last played Kovi in 12 23 23. Luckily, Your only turn. one of us lost. Uh, let's put these green guys. Mm, let's put them up there. Um, so the purple needle will kill the purple yes. things. Now there are needles that... Flashing needles that get everything. Squish, squish, squish. And you want combos. Yes. The bigger the combo, the more points you get. We're doing the exact same moves because they're the most... This one is a little different. But I may do the exact same thing. <laughs> now we're back to the, having the same boards. Yeah. Mm. Wife had COVID. Somehow nobody else in the house, including the holiday guests, got it. Wow, that's good. That is good. I I know so many people who have been sick over the holidays. Oh, it's been no. just a big thing this year. And Darcy, I think, was a little concerned that he might get sick because he was but, exposed to someone. But not COVID. Not COVID, but he was he? concerned. Yeah, that's why he's not here. He just didn't want to get other people sick, which is very considerate, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, badness. Oh, no. Nope, not that way. I want to stab the needle to the left. There we go. Oh, good job. Thank you. <gasps> One for you. The looks of the characters in this game are so cute. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, now there's a... Uh, needle buried. And they start dancing and doing animations when they get yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. Like, watch yours. Yeah. It's going blip, blip, It's blip, so blip. cute. Oh, man. So this is Dr. Mario-esque. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, ooh, no, bad move. Why? Could have joined all the blue together. Would it have gotten it in, all Yep, it? they're all connected. I thought, oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, sorry. You are correct. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, oh, forget all the rules. Mm -hmm, me too. <laughs> Mokter Dario. Oh, Mokter that's so Dario. good. <laughs> uh, 
That is so good. Um, I love how they dance with each other. It's so cute. They say hi and they dance. Carl G says, yeah, it's impressive technically and aesthetically. It's unbelievable. It's really, really, really great. Um, it's really fun. Next one's a green and a yellow needle. Save that yellow needle then. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am not. You have them all exposed, so. I love the music. Ha ha ha. You still have access to your green guys. Oh, you're going to get go for a bigger combo of sure. yellows? Yeah. So the score is, what? 31 to 52. Is that how it works? I don't understand. Why didn't that prime? Hmm. I can get rid of the other needle? No, it's why? not. So the prime needle doesn't work? I'm confused now. I thought if you had it upside down, it would... It works, yeah. Which one? Oh! Oh! Did you drop a purple one on, on the needle? Yeah. I guess you need to drop more than one purple one on the needle. Mm, mm. Yeah, that might be true. Yeah. Anyway. And I don't know how you... Re okay. Reprime it. What is he doing? You can't. You can't it's, reprime it. Yeah. It's done. I think it's done, done for good. I think the one that kills everything. Oh, I should have connected those green guys up. Damn it. Oh, there's a green needle. Oh, that might get the yellow. Oh, no, never mind. Oh. oh. Yeah, it drops off the bottom. That's how you get rid of it. Mm. if the Kobe's beneath are eliminated. Oh, okay. So you have to get those blue guys. Yeah. Then it'll work. Yeah. It takes... mm, yeah, let's do that. This is a purple needle coming up next. So you can use that. Oh, it could have... Yeah, that still works. Yeah, that's a... I still have purple needle. No! Oh, that's fine. Ooh. Uh... If I drop that there and put the needle to the left, will it get the one below it? I don't it? think so, but you can try. No. I didn't think so, because the needle isn't pointing that, and it's not connected to another one. Oh, looks like you have a better setup than I do. Do I? Yeah, I you have know. more connected ones. Mine are all spaced out. Mm. You have a lot of blues, you have What's a lot of with yellows. these terrible guys here? Too those many. Rocks, those sad rocks. Sad rocks, yeah. Uh, let's exactly put the sad rocks are. together. Sad rocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's flashing. It'll get rid of anything. Went for the blue. Nice. And a bad rock for me. Okay, what am I going to do? Oh, man, no, I'll do the blue. Yeah, our points are vertical. Yeah, this is really, really impressive. The number of sprites that are, like, across the screen. Like, there's a bunch of Coveys, like, eight, <laughs> eight Coveys and two scores. I like how Carl G says, I, think I, I don't think I'll be able to see them as anything but sad rocks now. <laughs> they are sad rocks. They are. They're just meh, meh, meh. <laughs> Ooh, a green. Uh, if you turned it around and pointed the needle down, you could get those two greens. I can't get anything. 
So this should get it. Yeah, yeah. It's the only. Oh, it got rid of the. It sad gets rock. the ones around the sad rocks. Lots of yellows. Oh, you're primed for some good points. No, if I get a yellow. I always think, oh, there's so many things on the screen, it's going to slow down. And then I'm like, no, that's not how 2600s work. <laughs> there is no slow down on 2600s. Unless you're doing time slicing between frames. Which most games do not do. What? Why did, did you press down? Is yeah. that why? Did oh, you're not supposed to press down? I think you are. What? Like hold down? Or did you just let it? What? Did you what just did let I do? It did you let it land, or did you press down? What happened? What did I do? I did I push down when I shouldn't have? I think you didn't push down when you should have. You, but I did push down. Oh, I don't know. I I don't think I should have pushed down. I do. Do you? Yeah, I go. I pull down so that it. What just happened? Hold down when it lands. No, I didn't pull down at oh, all. I don't, don't pull down. I pulled down. It primed it. Okay, Marco, why didn't uh... I pulled down before it landed? I think that's the problem. Oh. It primed it before it landed. You press the button too close to close the needle. Oh. Mm, so I pushed. I pushed. Are I you did, pressing did, buttons? I didn't think I was. Oh, I'm uh -oh. not paying attention now. That's okay. <laughs> No black lines between the lines of Kobe's to load what's coming on the next row. Press the right. Yeah. Nice. Everybody see the uh, the news about the 13-year-old kid who oh, won yeah. Tetris? Who beat Tetris? That's who, amazing. Not beat, crash Tetris, right? I mean, he he beat the game in a, in one one sense, it's but he amazing. crashed it in another sense. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah. Like the skill to be able to even do that is unbelievable. To get up to that high. Yeah. I watched the whole game. The whole game. I wow. just watched the ending, where where he accidentally missed the one opportunity to crash it. Then he's like, ah, I'm gonna go there. And then he got the next opportunity. It was very interesting to hear the um, technology behind it. I need to make that lower. Yeah. Ooh, blue. Yes. Yeah. How good was that? I know. It was so good. Ugh. And and one of the, the video I watched, he outlined all the ways and how it worked and. Um, why it crashes and the mapping of when the crashes happen it was it was really really fascinating so and and he said there's only one thing left to do in tetris is to make it to level 255 wow and then roll it over to zero again but to get to level 255 it's not just about getting to level 255 it's about avoiding the crashes on the way to 255 yeah. now So if I pull down, that'll point the needle down, so I have to let it fall. I would have never thought to do what the players did with the NES controller to get more button presses. I know, yeah. that that's a huge innovation. That was so cool. Where they're not pressing the button, they're pushing the controller into their thumb, into their uh, fingers. I was like, wow. I mean, I, we've known about that for a long time because mm -hmm. they have the World Tetris Championships at Portland Retro Gaming Expo every year. So that kid was actually there last year, but he was playing beforehand. He didn't make it to the finals. I know. I was going to say, I, did, I don't recall seeing him at the finals because I no. don't remember anyone that young being at the finals. So well, I don't know if we told the story about the finals. Oh, how we were getting kicked out? Oh, so, <laughs> maybe we did. Um, 
Okay, so the finals take place right at the end of the yeah. whole thing. It was like it's the last thing that happens um, at at the convention. Um, so everybody watches it. It's, it's a big crowd draw. It's the final thing. Um, so everybody was watching the last top two people, and um, it started kind of late, and people were like, "Okay, let's, let's get on with it. Let's get going," and it they just kept going and going and going like their games were really really good and they and i think they went all the way to the full extent of the number of games they had to do you know if somebody sweeps it it's over in three games or yeah. whatever best three out of five but they went to all of, all the games oh that was a mistake <laughs> And so the people that were, you know, the people that are cleaning up tables and stuff, they were told, okay, clear everyone out because, you know, yeah. it's over. And they were so, getting frustrated and so, everyone's like, no one's moving. What, so what's wrong came, with you? So they came by. It's me. Oh, I'm like, why can't I move? Um, they came by and said, okay, everybody, it's closed. You got to go. And everybody's like, no. <laughs> We're watching no. the best people in the world yeah. <laughs> playing Tetris. We're not leaving. Yeah. Uh, and so one of the people watching... Oh, I don't think I can do this. Or can I? Oh, I can. Um, one of the people watching says, Okay, I'll tell everyone to go. <laughs> yeah. It was so funny. Yeah. Nobody moved. Oh, no one moved. And then they started taking down all the chairs. And they're stealing like chairs from people, but it didn't matter. Because everybody just stood. So it lasted like a half an hour after they closed. But it was so crazy of a game. To it watch. was. It was amazing it was really to watch. Really good. Amazing. Oh, huge points. You're just kicking my ass. 417. Now you're going to get a ton more points. Oh, good. Didn't bury the green. Oh, yeah. You're good there. Finally! You're good! Now I just need a yellow. Oh, nom 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 nom. Ah. They didn't break out the tear gas. They seemed like no. they were going to. They looked <laughs> close. Like you could see people calling their union reps and. <laughs> yeah, they're like, we're not. Working I'm not late. staying. I'm not working late. Eventually, their their boss just said, "Oh, it's fine. Yeah, just let them stay." Yeah, it was gonna end relatively soon. Oops. Oh, next one's a, a, a whatever. It's any any needle. Hi, kitties. Yeah, it was gonna end soon enough. Nom 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 nom. Kick Yay, my ass. Yay! Down to the bottom. Ass. Woot. Four twenty eight. Four two eight five. Uh, I think I'm gonna do yellow. Yellow. Yeah, yeah, do it. Tanya got a chain reaction before it boosted her points. Yeah, he just got a huge one there too. Uh, not as it, it really no. boosted my points quite a bit. A bunch but. of crap is coming down on me now. <laughs> Raining down. Oh, kitten kisses. Thank you. So nice. Of you. What do we got? Oh, thank you. Oh, you're so nice. So cute and nice. He is a nice kitty. Pink ones remind me of singamajigs. That, I don't know what that is. Have you ever heard of singamajigs? I know what a thingamajig <laughs> reference is, but not what a singamajig is. Yeah, what is a singamajig? Sounds like a toy that sings. <laughs> <laughs> eh, eh. Oh, I know he's very cuddly. So when does this end? When just somebody dies? Dies? That's my guess. I mean, uh, I think so. I remember you played for a while last time too. Does it normally take um, a mean, while to get a game over? I mean, obviously yeah. we played on too low of a level for our for our skill levels. I like it. I like the back and forth. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think I'll do this. Yes. Yeah, it's really, really good. Everything about this game is so, so well done. 
This definitely deserves a, a release on cartridge. Oh, this yeah. This is so, so good. It is so much fun. Uh, kid's doll. It sings when you squeeze its belly. If you get a few of them, they harmonize. <laughs> ah, like on purpose? That sounds they, cute. Like they were made to harmonize? Oh, I should have done that a little bit differently. Got to bury? No. Got to bury something. Well, you could have stacked them up. No, first, I'm then. just thinking. There you go. Go there. Oh, blue one next. Nice. That's going to be big points for me. And a fair amount for you. Not terrible. No, not terrible. Good chain reaction You talk there. about the other thing you got for Christmas? A growing... Oh, uh, uh, just an arrow garden. Like arrow, little, I think you did. I think I did last time. It was... Oh, it's me. Um, no, it's me. Hydroponic. Yeah, but well, it, it's not for full, herbs. It's yeah. not fully hydroponic, though, is it? Well, no, it is hydroponic. Oh, it doesn't it involve soil, so it, it has soil. But there are hydroponic growing systems that are like there's no soil. Well, no, it's right? not soil. It the, the plugs I think are like a foam or peat or something. Oh, okay, I'm a purple one. I don't know what mine was. But they're starting to sprout now. They are very quickly. That was that was your gift to me. Oh. Thank you very much. Oh, you're very welcome. I do like grown herbs, so there you go. Yep, they're I very like useful. And you can so, get a bunch of them, right? A bunch of different kinds yep. of herbs. Yep. Uh, yeah, we're blue. I mean, a lot of people were into them probably like five, ten years ago. <laughs> yeah. I'm a little late to the game, but that's okay. Oh, Carl says Maggie has one of those. Works surprisingly well. They do, and it's nice because we don't have like a lot of sun. No. In, in that our, was in always our place. been the problem, right? So oh. it's just sort of nice to. Oh, green. Yeah, because we have, we're not, we're facing north, north and north. east, and it's just not. There's enough. just not a lot of sun, so you can't grow stuff. So it's kind of nice to have things. that. Ooh, totally. Oh, you're so lucky. This one. That's probably more on that side, yeah. Yeah, they do work quite well. Yep, there's two things sprouting. What's sprouting right now? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Sneezes are sprouting. Sneezes are sprouting. Uh-oh, COVID. Help. Help. Something's wrong with the ZPH stream. What is? RC70. <laughs> Oops. Tell me. What happened? <laughs> What's going on? Is there something wrong? Did the cats chew on something? <laughs> RC70 is not, not telling us. I don't see anything wrong. Still broadcasting. Everything's green. We're facing technical problems? Who is? Who is? With what? Everyone? For oh, me. for you. Time to reload. For me, at least? Oh, it went black for a couple seconds. Oh. Oh. The game or the whole screen? Charles Whelan didn't see anything. I didn't... Yeah. I looked over there when 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 he posted it, but um... Twitch rebooted or something. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, that's that's definitely odd. Had to reload the page. Oh, so multiple oh. people. Interesting. Wow. Well, well, it, at least it fixed it, I guess. Yeah. The whole screen. Okay. Ooh, green. That's not super great for you. I don't know what my green situation looks like. Uh, oh. Nothing. Lots of people are talking about something going down. Oh, the brief blackout. Okay. Yeah. Well, we record it locally, so it shouldn't be in the archive for YouTube. I don't know if we said anything interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Probably we not. We're Probably still playing not. Kobe Kobe, so. Yeah, yeah. No blackout here. That's very no power strange. Outage. I mean, I guess it's from time to time things happen like mm -hmm. that. We need help. some needles. Help. <laughs> I was Ooh. like, help, help, what's going on? Yeah, oh, there's a purple needle. It's not great for either of us. But, oh. oh, you don't even have anything. You have one. You don't have to use it right away. You can point it up. Ah, uh, yeah, but it's weird. I don't, I don't get the pointing up. You can only put two on it, right? Like. Ooh, true. If it's pointing up, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. okay. I have yeah, way too true. much. Way too much going on. You do. 
That's it. But you've got them quite organized. Relatively. I need yellow or blue. It's like you ended the stream. Oh. Hmm. Weird. Yeah, I just made it. My only option is 1080p. Oh. Sorry. Some some nights it allows us all the different um, resolutions. Some nights it does not. Ooh, a yellow. Um, it just depends on Twitch's mood. Yep. I think they hand it out. They have X number. And if all the people who qualify for multi-stream oh, um, don't use it, then we get to use it. Because mm -hmm. we don't have enough viewers to get, what is it, partnership or whatever it is. <laughs> That's a lot of viewers. You have to have 75 average viewers uh. consistently. 75 or more. Um, I mean, we're getting better and better for viewers, but it's going to be years before that happens. Or something magical happens. I don't know what. Ugh. A whole community comes out and watches every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we get that during um, like big events, like Atari Age Day and the Atari Homebrew Awards. Um, but... Or if we have like a super crazy guest. Twitch filters. Twitch filters. <laughs> we will play till 750. 750 points. Oh, points. Okay. Yeah. I was not, like, hmm? not, not seven minutes past already that time. <laughs> Whoever gets that first, because we're kind of close, actually, now. We're relevant? Well, I've got a lot on my screen. 598, 587. Oh, now it's going to go. The scores will do change it, do now. It, do it, do it, do it, do it. Kill it all. Oh, you're so close to 750 now. Okay. Well, I've got some blue. you got, got a lot of blue. blue. You're gonna, a, it's all going to come down on me, so. Eh, eh. doesn't punish too bad at this level. I watch Twitch on PC and get no notifications, but managed to catch almost all the ZPH streams. Awesome. Oh, my goodness. oh someone mentioned COVID and voila, the channel got attacked. That's what it was. <laughs> That's what it was. 100%. Said, said the magic words. Ugh. And, it, and it, the, the channel sneezed. Twitch sneezed. Oh, 716. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. Oh, yellow. I don't have much yellow. You don't have much yellow either. That might put you over the edge. It might get you to win. The win. Seven, 17. 724. So close. Oh my. Mine's a bit better no, yellow. You're going to get a little bit more. But I'm very far behind. So it's first to 750? Over 750. All right. 750 or over. Not sure why I did that. Mm. Shut myself off there. Ugh. You rock. Go with the rock. Go with the frowny face rock. Syringes, yes, are the only thing that get rid of cells. That is correct. Because it's the viruses. You have to get the viruses. Oh, oh, this is it. This is... Oh, oh no. Oh, so close. Oh, my gummy. Mm. Mm. Well, there was four over there, but I couldn't yeah. move it over fast enough. No, I'm nowhere near. I'm nowhere near. If you get a blue or a pink syringe, you're, you've got it, I think. Mm. 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 Nothing gets rid of sad rocks? No, they do. I'm not, I can't remember they, the rules they, on that. Uh, if, if you syringe something next to them, they will disappear, I believe. Oh, if you get a, ch <gasps> a chain. Useless. No, oh, you might. No, it's not enough. If you get a chain next to a sad rock, I think that's what gets it. <laughs> We're all calling them sad rocks now. <laughs> it's cute. cute they do rocks. look like sad rocks. I'm sure there's a biological name for them in the instructions, but <laughs> I can't remember what that is. Fun to give them nicknames anyway. Yeah. All you need is a pink or a blue. Or even a oh, green. I have to get there, but yeah. Oh, there's the blue. It's over. Unless she messes up. It's possible. <laughs> she almost messed up. It's over now. Yeah. You win. <laughs> Congratulations you. on your Thank Kobe you. Kobe win. If they're adjacent, yes. They're yes. adjacent, yeah. yeah. There we go. 
That is very catchy. <laughs> very catchy. Okay. Sad rock is a new genre to go with yacht rock. <laughs> yacht rock and sad rock. So, so today we played three games. Mm -hmm. First is Escape from Mars from Leandro Camera. Um, it, uh, you're on Mars. You're trying to rescue your people and get them off of Mars. Uh, amazing graphics. Fantastic. Beautiful scrolling backgrounds. Yes. Parallax scrolling backgrounds. Colors, everything. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, starts off the, the graduation of, uh, difficulty. Yes. Is very good. Mm -hmm. Um, it's lots of variety. There's two types of stages. Um, lots of things going on on the screen that's for sure you know jumping over bullets jumping over pits all that kind of stuff fantastic um, yep. yep really really Looks great beautiful plays beautiful. really well yep. really fun great challenging animation. yep yep second game we played cave raider oh, oh. my god uh, right up james's alley <laughs> yeah right up, right up my alley it's a platformer it's awesome mm -hmm. um it uh relies on the gingerbread man engine mm -hmm. or adjacent to it which i love gingerbread man i'm still trying to beat it yeah um yeah collect a ton of little gems throughout uh 60 screens of mazes yeah each screen is completely different a completely different challenge there's dark areas which i didn't mind yep. usually i do <laughs> but i didn't mind the dark areas yep yep um i loved it it's going on the after dark for sure mm -hmm. for me to beat mm -hmm. it was really good um what do you think of it oh i loved it i yeah. it was uh really fun i think it's right in your wheelhouse because yes. you love platformers yeah. and there's you know you're trying to cat get those rocks or whatever they are for points as you yeah. go through and then there was a lantern we didn't quite see how that exposed the area and all that but yeah. um but we'll play it again uh, and we have to sure. play it through we have to get that key and get to the end i'm, I'm very excited for that yeah and it's yeah really yeah. cool and and escape from mars i want to play that again because I, I know i can too. get further in that. yeah yeah uh and the third one covey covey we revisited that game again uh it is absolutely stunning two-player game yeah um, I like how someone was saying, hey, Kobe Kobe is one of those games because it's two player and it goes back and forth that you can read the chat and play the yes. game as a two player game That's a... because it flips back and forth between people, which I really like that mechanic. I think it's really fun. Yeah. Instead of side by side playing, it's like I get a turn, you get a turn and it goes back and forth. Yep. The graphics are astounding. Oh, they're fantastic. The music is amazing. The gameplay is so great. Yeah. It's it's Mar Dr. Mario adjacent, yeah. but, it, but it plays very it differently. It plays different. It's not exactly the same, but it has a no. lot of the beats of, of that game, I guess you could say. Like, yeah. And the music's fantastic, so I love that. Yeah. And, and the characters Super are fun. so cute in it. Yeah. It's absolutely cute. The uh, Kobe's... The white Kobe's slash sad rocks, you know. <laughs> they're super cute. They're too. super cute. <laughs> yeah, and and it has all types of skill levels, from very yeah. very simple to crazy hectic. You can. Um, we didn't play. We only played one version because you can play for only quite a one while. level. But you yeah. can make it really fast and build up your tower. Mm -hmm. um, like have a big tower before you start playing. Yeah. And try and work down or start from nothing and have a really slow game. Yeah. Uh, very very style. So absolutely great bunch of games yeah. today so. yeah all three fantastic so yeah, yeah. i highly recommend yeah. all three mm -hmm. um so what did you guys think of the three games i uh forgot to do it last show but uh let's uh, send out the poll and see what game uh you liked uh the most or caught your uh eye or you want to play first whatever however you want to put it we've got yep. one two three escape from bars cave raider and covey covey oh, fantastic games. yeah everybody All has worth playing. different preferences yes, of what type exactly. of games and they're very different games like they one, are one different styles completely different yeah, styles which is fun you know? platformer shooter uh, puzzle uh, yeah puzzle tetris style game tetris style puzzle game, game. yeah, yeah um oh, oh oh all across the board yep yeah Every, nice. see everybody has a different one all, all of, them, of them you exactly. can't pick one two three just put one space two space three space i go. think that works yep <laughs> um so you can vote for all of them <laughs> i i liked all of them and i can see us playing all of them again in the future i can for too sure they're all very different games because there's so much more to play yeah about them yeah 
Um, coming up in the show, we have a lot of stuff coming up on the show. Let's and what's take happening? A look. What's happening next Friday? Oh. What exciting thing is happening next Friday? Well, let's just bring up because something see. exciting is happening next Friday. It very exciting. So everyone better clear, take your clear their calendar. Take take a vacation day slash <laughs> sick day. Well, it'd be fine for and the East join Coast. Us. Fine and join for the us. East Coast. They may not have to take too much time. Well, I don't know. I don't That's know what people's shifts Europe. are. Sure. I mean, they have to. That's you know, true. They might have to. Clear. Next Friday. Yes. All four of us are here. Yes. It's a four-player day. Yes. Tanya's here. Darcy's here. Erilyn's here. We're yes. gonna play. All four player simultaneous games, four yeah. people all at once, mm -hmm. including Ducks Away, a four player laser gun shooter, light gun shooter game. Uh, we're also going to be playing exclusive world premiere of Just Up, a 7800 game. Awesome. Nobody knows anything about it, so we'll <gasps> reveal it on the day. Yeah. Um, and uh, a whole bunch of other games that are four player simultaneous. I have a huge list. Mm. So there'll be more four player day games, four player games day. I don't know all those words. <laughs> Pick your order. Um, uh, I don't know if we'll concentrate just on 7800. There's a bunch of really good 8 bit games. So we'll probably start with those two 7800 games. Well, start with the CRT monitor. Move that out of the way after. <laughs> yeah. Then yeah. then go to the Just Up. Then do the Atari 8-bit. Yeah. Because I bought a um, multi-adapter for the Atari 8-bit that supports up to eight players. We only have four people. But there's some great, great games. Uh, just hope nobody gets sick before next Friday. Nope. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Hush. Hush you. <laughs> <laughs> no sickness, no illness. Uh, but uh, on next Tuesday show, we're going to be playing uh, Bubble Bobble. It got a huge update. <gasps> oh my gosh. Um, so we're going to be playing oh, the update a, of Bubble that's Bobble. That's so exciting. Uh, we're also going to be playing Balance and Rainbow for the 7800 as well. Nice. Might change. Might add some more in there. Uh, and then on the 16th, uh, Dude Story, Lady Tut, and Vex. That might change, but it's going to be an 8-bit day. Atari 8-bit day. Very nice. And coming up pretty quickly, it's uh, the annual 6th uh, Annual Atari Homebrew Awards. And nominee reveal, right? The nominee reveal nice. on February 2nd. Yeah. So you do want to tune in for that. So as we reveal all the nominees, and then you get to start voting. <gasps> so the uh, nomination committee start their voting this Sunday. So I got to ah. get through some stuff and organize some spreadsheets and all that for them. Um, I pretty much figured out all the games that stay in 2023 and I have to pare down things and collect mm -hmm. things. But I've been doing that throughout the year. Nice. So nice. I, it should be fine. Um, and then, of course, the actual 6th Annual Atari Homebrew Awards live presentation, February 24th. That is a day you want to take off. It's a Saturday, mm -hmm. unless you work on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. So that's why we put it on a Saturday. It starts at noon. Mm -hmm. I do need to put the time there. And, uh, <laughs> of course, coming up in March, Developer Spotlight on Steve Engelhart, Atarius Maximus who made the game Cave Raider today. We're going to do a deep dive Excellent. into his catalog of oh, games. Oh, nice. And nice. play through them all. Wow. We're going to get a look at them all. We may not play through them all, because oh, well. obviously it's huge. Look at them at least. We'll, yes. we'll look at them. And he's done some for 2600 and 7800. Very nice. And we'll yeah. find out all those games. I was surprised. He sent me over the list of the games he's made, and I'm like, oh, my God. I <laughs> yeah. didn't know it was that many. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, prepare to get Bubble Bobble theme stuck in your head. Well, yeah. maybe it'll get out the Covey Covey theme that's yeah. stuck in my head right <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's what's coming up on the show. It's, it's very it's a, exciting. It's an exciting time of year. Lots with the of good Atari stuff coming up. Homebrew Awards. There's a little black kitten. Oh, he was asleep. Oh. His eyes were fully closed there oh, for a second. let's show him. Let's show that little cat yeah. screen. Look at that little Oh, little you need to show him cat. up close. Oh, I'll, if I move, he's going to move. So no, it's not yeah, that's work. true. Um, so I think, uh, thanks for tuning in today, yes. Carl G, BR Pocock, Marco Johannes. Thank you for making the awesome game. Very, very, very It's so cool. good. Car yeah. Kobe Kobe. So, so awesome. Um, that has to go on cartridge. It has to get a cartridge release. Yeah. I think that's going to do really well. Yeah. Um, people are going to buy that one. It's, it's so good. Uh, Nostalgic Dan, if you see RC7E. Uh, Charles Whelan. Tetris Row. Vitoko. Pseudo Graphics. Uh, Chelsea Donnie Mao. 
Agile Sulfurico. First time First chatter. First time chat. Very nice. Thank you for joining us. Cat Ball Arena. Um, Chitlit La. Uh, uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, oh, beat me to it. Yawning. It's the beer. The beer it's does the it to beer. me every time. Gamer Composer. Oh, Atarius Maximus, of course. Oh, yes. Thank you so much for your game today. Gamer uh, composer, I yeah, you mentioned. That. Excellent. Uh, Mike Soul, Chalcedony Mao. The results. And the... rendered ghost for oh. rating us too. Oh, yes. Earlier. Thank you. Yep. Thank and you. all those people who's subscribed and donated subscriptions nice. and bits. Oh my god, thank you so much. Yeah. Um it's pretty even. The people's likes of they the were games. all They're fantastic all so games. It's it's uh, almost like preference of game style, right? It, that's yeah. what it comes down to, I think. Excellent. Uh Cave Raider came out just barely on top. And Tetris Row. Yes, and you. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in. Uh, we will be back on uh, Friday at a special time, 2 p.m. 2 p.m. So two hours later. So no, no, no. Friday's if, today. If you're an Eastern person, it'll be mid at, like late afternoon. Yeah. And then if you're more on our side of the country, it'll be midday. And I suppose for people who are... In Europe, it's going to be 10 p.m. So a little bit later. E tonight. Late evening, but possibly watchable for them so oh, when we start so that's yeah. good yeah um but we'll be back on tuesday yes with you again me yay with some 7800 games yes including bubble bubble yeah so we'll see you then and uh have a great weekend everyone mm -hmm. Bye bye bye